all right hello everyone and peace of the Lord the Messiah the glorious the amazing the beautiful the superior supreme and the one who guide us for everything we do uh, in his name we are victorious and by him we save people you know when we talk about victory our victory is different from other people victory our victory about saving people not about killing them there is some they think that victory is a war killing slaughtering our victory is different and when I debate a Muslim and supposedly he lose the fact he is the winner because his lose is his win so today we invite Muslims to call us and this is not about me winning or you losing this is about salvation and this is about the truth and the truth will set you free <clears throat> Muslims always uh, because Islam taught them to have a mentality of war and mentality of uh, the conspiracy of the enemy who hate them and the Quran is full of it and we know why the Quran is based on that because this is an agenda of hate and uh, hate is required for many who have uh, nothing uh, in order to keep themselves in office you see if you go in the Middle East <clears throat> and if you ask yourself about uh, those countries there you will you will not really find an answer about why why the war is there never stop Why Middle East countries never have peace? What is the secret? In fact, the answer is very simple. In order to have peace, or if you have peace, then how you can convince people around you that you are needed and you are important? War always prevent those who they are in office from losing their office and the Middle East is a country and is not based in uh, 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 in a civil you know leadership or civil government it's always based on blood when we look at Israel which is this little tiny little land here we find Israel is too small to be a problem but yet it is the biggest problem for Muslims the reason for that Israel is important today for many leaders in the Islamic world to exist as an example the king of Jordan he claimed that he is a hero who is defending the holy ground because of Israel if there's is no Israel he cannot claim to be something the president of, of, of Syria he claimed that he is the one who is standing against Israel and this is why he and his family the same as the family of the king of Jordan they are ruling Syria for tens and tens of years the same as Egypt the same as you know Erdogan every every two weeks he make a speech about free, free in Jerusalem <clears throat> but he will never attack Israel and he will never dare even to fart at Israel so what is this uh, enmity is about is it real is it uh, yes they hate the Jews they, they, they they've been taught to hate the Jews but at the end of the day it is just talk when they ask the president of Iran why every morning you say you know you, you taught your people to say death to America and death to Israel he said this is just indoor uh, propaganda we, it means nothing which means we will never do it we will not do it and we don't mean it it's just for the indoor use it's like a tissue in the bathroom people have, have anger and we have to direct the anger into something and what is that death to America death to Israel the same as you go to, to Yemen as an example in Yemen now there is a war between uh, the Shia and the Sunni and each part is sponsored by Shia or Sunni group 
when the Shia they shoot at the Sunni and we can show you tons of videos they say which mean death to America curse to the Jews but yet they are fighting each other I mean they are fighting Muslims fighting each other so why you are shouting death to America curse to the Jews I mean if, imagine I am a Chinese fighting the Japanese and then I shout death to America you know what I mean no what is behind this is those who control the goats you know there's goats there's a crowd and the crowd how to, to be controlled by an idea and the idea is very simple it, it is hate we have an enemy it's Israel okay but now you are shooting a Muslims a Muslim like you yet you are shouting saying death to America and curse to the Jews And that have a reason as we said all of it it's a propaganda of ruling and controlling the crowd naive people who they are not educated they live in the time of the cave time savagery and then we have to convince them there is an enemy we have we are holy people fighting a holy fight and our president is a holy president and our group is a holy group and the rest are pigs and monkeys all right You know, I've been attacked by many because I don't, uh, you know, since I was in the Middle East, uh, I never, I never been uh, driven into this uh, stupid propaganda of hating the Jews and hating America and hating etc. And, uh, you know, always when I speak about, about this issue, uh, everybody around me, even Christians, because, you know, Christians who live in the Middle East too, uh, you know, imagine yourself, you grow in the Middle East, you go to school, everybody's speaking against Israel. Israel is the small shaitan. America is the big shaitan. There's two shaitan. That's what they teach you. There's two shaitan. There's big shaitan and small shaitan. The small shaitan is Israel. The big shaitan is America. <clears throat> and, you know, I remember once, uh, I have a, you know, a student with me in school, but he is a, like a, uh, he's an important, his father is an important figure in the government. So, he was saying, uh, you know, we always talk, and I defend, uh, uh, you know, I, you know, I say what is right. I, actually, I defend no one. I mean, I say the truth. So one day, you know, we finished high school, and I saw him. He, this guy always he attack Israel and attack America and etc. And then uh, so he said, uh, you know, I got just today. I got my passport. I said, okay, where are you going? He said, I'm going to America. I got a scholarship. They said you are good. I, I thought America is the big shaitan. I thought America is the big shaitan. All the time, you and your family speaking about the big shaitan. Your father is a big government guy who makes speeches about the shaitan. And now your father wants to send you to the big shaitan? He said, Well, you know, uh, still at the end of the day, America is America. I said, Yes, you're right. America is America, which means you, you know, those can park. And that will not change the fact that America and America is America, and you guys are just a bunch of hypocrites. So now you are going to apply for a, 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 a because he was telling me, do you think they will give me a visa? I said I don't know if the big shaitan will give you a visa. You know, I don't know. The big shaitan might not to give you a visa. Now you have to pray to the shaitan. Your future in the hand of Mister Shaitan, big shaitan, America. So this is how the hypocrisy is and this is how they fool themselves they keep repeating a lie and then they believe in the lie but when 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 reality come they knew that they are false they curse the Jews but everybody knows that the Jews have a life and they don't they say the Jews are cursed but if you go to Israel you will wish to be a citizen in Israel go in the Middle East and see what the Middle East is after all the oil you have you know, Middle East is a hell. Even in countries like Emirat, where it's supposedly a fancy building, a lot of money. But if you say one word against the prince, you disappear. The same as Saudi Arabia, the same as all Islamic countries. In Israel, you can throw a tomato at the prime minister. The, the ex-president of Israel, he's in jail right now. Nobody is above the law. 
So here we go, a land is middle of the Middle East, but they were able to establish a country, a real country, where citizens, they have their rights. The country is having a wealth, and their wealth is increasing, not decreasing. And with all the oil the Arab have around, and the population still, they have nothing. In Saudi Arabia, until now, they don't even have a sewage line, which means their poop stay in a hole next to the door. You open the window in the morning and you make some coffee to drink it, and instead of smelling the air of uh, of the sky, you smell some the poop of your neighbor. Especially if the hole is full and it flooded over the street. If you search right now in YouTube for a flood in Mecca, the flood happened because there is no sewage too, and Mecca is in long wrong location, which means Allah He chose a very wrong location for his uh, holy city to be actually i made a, i made a video you can watch it and you can see how bad the location of mecca is very bad location allah is god supposedly but yet he could not find a better location to his holy city so <clears throat> we as a christians and I don't know how many uh, here they are not Christians, but, but for sure everybody is welcome. But me as a Christian, I speak about myself. Uh, we have different agenda. We will never shout, say death to Muslims. We will never say kill Muslims. We will never teach hate and violence against Muslims. Uh, for a very simple reason, this is not who we are. Islam is based on hate and the propaganda of hate. And Muhammad is the one who is the founder of hate. What Islam, what Islam, how Islam present the Christians? <clears throat> if we go in the Quran, let us see who are the Christians. The Quran always presents us as a something or someone very evil. Evil people. Chapter 5, verse number 60, Allah, he cursed the people of the book, and in this case here, the Jews, and he made them pigs and uh, monkeys. And uh, we showed you the picture of uh, a monkey last time, and we, uh, we proved that point of Muhammad, he said, if you remember. Uh, may, let me refresh your memory, uh, just to refresh your memory, you know, nothing more. <clears throat> So according to Muhammad, <coughs> according to Muhammad, this is Benjamin Netanyahu. Allah, he cursed the Jews and he made them monkeys. And actually, if you look, you know, carefully, you will see like he have his eyes. They are like relatives. So Muhammad from the beginning, Anyone who don't agree with him, he start making him look as an animal, as a creature, as something ugly, disgusting. Uh, you know, he is not only he is a monkey, he is a pig. If you go to the verse, you will see it says the following. Like the translation is not really showing you what it says. Like here they say apes, what apes? It says monkeys, qirada. So, saying, shall I tell you about uh, uh, the recompense of the God worse than that? Whomsoever God has cursed, okay, who is the one who Allah cursed, supposedly? And the translation, by the way, again, again is this is stupid translation. They keep saying the word God. It doesn't say God. It says Allah. This guy, Arbari, is an idiot. I think he is using a software or something. Let us see different donkey. All right. Shall I point out to you something much worse than this by the treatment it re received from Allah? Those who they incurred the curse of Allah and His worth or His wrath, those whom some He transformed into not apes, monkeys, exactly, and pigs. 
uh, those who worshipped evil the Jews they worshipped evil so here you see how the propaganda of Islam is always is about if you are a Muslim you grow up in a Muslim society and now you are learning about people you did not see because most of the Jews are disappeared from the Middle East they went either at abroad to Europe or America or to Israel uh, so now I did not see actually me myself I did not see a Jew the first time I think I saw a Jew it was in the airport I think as I remember and I was looking for his tail to see if he have a tail or not uh, <clears throat> so if you are a person who grew up in the Middle East and now you are learning about a, a people you do not know the people they call them Jews and right away your book is saying to you that those are evil worshippers they worship evil and they are pigs and monkeys You will believe it All right once I was speaking to a, the teacher who was teaching us about the evil Jews and then I said sir uh, who is Musa's he said uh, he is Prophet Musa's I said yeah he said the Prophet Musa's he's Prophet Musa's what what do you mean I said isn't he a Jew he said yeah I said so but the Jews are evil right he said, no, 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 uh, Prophet Moses was not. Okay. What about uh, Israel? You keep attacking Israel. Israel is a bad person. He said, no, no, Israel is not a bad person. The children of Israel are bad. Okay. Uh, why, why, what, uh, what exactly is bad about them? He said they took they took Jerusalem they took Jerusalem I said sir who is the one who built Jerusalem he said David no comment David is the one who built Jerusalem and they took Jerusalem from us I mean have you ever heard of a silly statement like this if if David is the one who built Jerusalem give to those who built Jerusalem Jerusalem We did not build it. So, always you notice the hypocrisy and the anger inside. There is an anger inside Muhammad, who he have to implant inside Islam toward those who refuse him, and he wanted to be sure that they will be killed, they will be tortured, and they will be uh, uh, treated very bad. If only they had stood fast by the law, <clears throat> by the Torah, by the way, the translator here is again is a donkey. But what we can do, I mean, we, we are we going to keep tr changing translation here? It doesn't say law, it says Torah. Use the word Torah. So, by the Torah and the gospel and all the revelation that was sent to them from their Lord, they would have enjoyed happiness from every side. Okay, hold on. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this before? How you are saying to them in the time of Muhammad that you have to stood fast by the law, by the Torah, and by the gospel, but yet you are saying to them you have to follow the Quran. How they have to stood by the gospel, yet you are teaching a teaching far away from the gospel. The gospel says love, you says he hate. The guy the, the, the Bible says uh, forgive, you, you said seek revenge. Uh, uh, Jesus says you marry one woman, you says marry as many as you wish and do muta and have uh, you know. So how you asking them to stood f fast by the Torah and the gospel, but yet you are teaching a teaching totally the opposite of what you are asking them to stood by. In verse number 68, Muhammad he get bigger within his pupil. He says, So, people of the book, you have no ground to stand upon unless you stand, you stand fast by the Torah and the gospel. Okay, hold on. So, you Christians, you have nothing unless you practice the Torah and the gospel. 
What about you, Muhammad? If the Christians and the Jews, they have nothing unless they practice the Torah and the gospel, are you going to practice it too? Do you see the stupidity? As long nobody have a stand, which means salvation, unless he have the Torah and the gospel. Okay, we got that. What about you? You will practice what? Stupidity. And the Muslims today, they say to us that the Torah and the gospel, they are corrupt. So how Muhammad saying that we have to practice the Torah and the gospel if they are corrupt? He was talking about what? How we can practice something is not exist no more. Thank you for those who made the donation. We appreciate your, uh, uh, sorry if I didn't say thank you, but I don't think you are waiting for me to say thank you. If there is any Muslim would like to call us, and you see, you are welcome to tell me anything you want about Islam to prove me wrong. Anything. I believe, and there's no question about that, that Islam is the most stupid cult ever you can imagine. Every statement in this book is a contradiction. Look at this. In verse number 68, it's saying to them, you have no salvation, which means you will not be saved, unless you practice the Torah and the gospel and then the verse after it look what he says those who believe which means the Muslims and those who follow the Jewish scriptures the Jews and the Sabian and the Christians and any who believe in Allah and the last days and work righteousness on them shall have no fear because they will they will be they will go to heaven how you just said to them a second ago that if you don't practice the Torah and the gospel, the same group you say to them, hey Christians, you are going to go to heaven. Are we following guys? Here we notice there is a contradiction. The only solution for this verse, that this verse was not made to be here. This is a verse Muhammad said way before. And somebody took it and put it here. This is verse does not belong here. This is an old verse. At the time when Muhammad, he had no problem yet with the Jews and the Christian, trying to convince them to believe in him. This verse, there's no way it does belong here. Remember, the Muslims, they, they gather the Quran like rocks. There's no chapters, there's no verses by there's you see it says here verse. This there's no verse. Quran never was verses, never was chapters. This is later when the Muslims start organizing the Quran. They compare between how the Bible is made and they try to make the Quran look like the Bible, as simple as that. Otherwise, there is no verses. And we can prove that the Quran never meant to be a verses in a place. And not, and not only that, we can prove easy that the Quran, there's big hands played with it, big time. As an example. If we go in the Quran, we will find this. <clears throat> Read and laugh. Chapter 5, verse number 3. Okay. In this chapter, in verse number three, Allah says, I forbid for you eating the zucchini, tomini, minuni, nonini, pork, blah, 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 and then suddenly, okay, suppose this verse is about food. I don't know if this is, uh, let us see. Hello? Yes? Hello, brother. I am James. Um, hey, my friend. How are you? It's, uh, it's been a long time. I, I was trying to talk with you, but finally, I'm talking. 
<laughs> well, you are lucky. Usually, I don't answer because I don't uh, accept only calls from Muslims. So we can have a, like the other side of the story, and people they can learn. What do you want to say, my friend? Uh, okay, if it is, then I, I just want to uh, know the, the what is the manuscript of Quran? Like so many people are claiming, like uh, there is manuscript. Uh, Let me make it short for you. There is ma no manuscript for the Quran. No manuscript. There is no manuscript. There? there is no manuscript. They found a page. Uh, two faces in Birmingham just uh, uh, two years ago and it's the mm -hmm. the the letter is dated to be for Muhammad too but that they, even this one is not a manuscript the letter the letter is dated old but not the ink and not the words they don't have manuscript the the all this Quran right now I saw it just yesterday in the news in Russia TV uh, RT uh, all this uh, uh, Quran is placed is uh, uh, like like in a museum in uh, in China and it is goes to the 14 centuries this is the oldest quran the muslims have okay yeah and this is not <laughs> for sure this is not a manuscript you know we cannot consider it a manuscript they don't have anything you know they don't have they sahir bukhari they... just to, to, to add to you sahir bukhari you heard of sahir bukhari right yes I they don't have sahir bukhari it. sahir bukhari doesn't exist nobody have the book of al bukhari what they have is somebody claiming that those are copy of the copy of the copy of the copy of the Bukhari. We don't we don't have Sahih Muslim. They, they have nothing. Mm -hmm. The most uh, uh, two things important for them is uh, Al Bukhari and Muslim, and they don't have them. And the Quran. <clears throat> so what is left? <clears throat> and the okay. Quran we are reading right now is what is considered to be according to. You see, in Egypt there is a copy. Uh, uh, for mm -hmm. uh, the uh, what is called uh, Mus'haf of Uthman, and that Mus'haf, they in, even even in the in the in the uh, in the museum library, it says that this is what is we believe it is. Nobody is sure. We believe it is mm -hmm. according to Uthman, not the book of Uthman. According this, is what they believe in. So they don't have the book of Uthman. Nobody have the book of Uthman. If you open in Arabic. Mm -hmm. If you open the Quran, uh, uh, let me find you a picture here. I will place it in the screen. <coughs> you will see that there is a. If anyone have an Arabic Quran, mm. I will place it in the screen. If you have an Arabic Quran, you will find the page there. And let us show it. I think uh, I, I didn't. Uh, which uh, screen? Uh, it, are you talking about that uh, 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 live uh, streaming, right? Yes, we are live stream uh, we are live right now. Right now. Uh, oh, hang, hang up and go and watch me in the in YouTube, and I will I will answer you. All right? Yeah, hang up, please. I will answer okay, you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, just because he asked the question, otherwise we don't want to change the topic. If you open the Quran, if you have an Arabic Quran, you will see it says this in the Quran. Uh, for sure, this is drawing, for, for, uh, forget about it in, in uh, red. It's showing you here, every uh, red in circle, it's showing you this is according to, the word according to. So this is according to, according to, according to, according to, according to. All of this is according to. According to what? According to recitation. They don't have a book. So even in the Quran, which is printed by the Saudi Arabia, this is the popular Quran. This there is not they lie. They say there is one Quran. This is a lie. But now the most popular uh, 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 copy of the Quran became the one which was printed in Saudi Arabia because since the Saudi they got a lot of money from the oil since more than eight years ago, they start producing a Quran for free, for you know to to convert people to Islam supposedly and give it out for free. And if you open it. And actually, I have a Quran, me, myself, from Saudi Arabia. Uh, you will see right away, it says, Kutiba had al-Mus'haf al-Kareem, not the holy, al-Kareem, which means the generous, gener generous. Wadubita ala ma yuwafiq, let's make it in red, because too many red there. Uh, make it in, uh, in a blue. So you know what I'm reading. Riwayat to had al-Mus'haf, the report of this Mus'haf, or the story of the Mus'haf, or the tale of this Mus'haf, it's a tale. 
and the way it is drawing which means the way it's writing and the way it is uh, 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 let us say organized uh, like this is the definition and here it says كتب هذا المصحف الكريم وضبط على ما يوافق رواية حفص بن سليمان بن المغيرة الأسدي الكوفي لقراءة عاصم بن أبي النجود الكوفي etc. So this is this is a مصحف generous مصحف not holy uh, made and written uh, according to as it's agreed with the recitation or the report of حفص. حفص was a person who came more than two hundred years after Muhammad. And this is riwayah, not a book. Riwayah, you know, like somebody he says uh, a tale, the tale. This is what riwayah mean. And this is the word riwayah here appear in the front of us. Uh, look like we have a we have a Muslim trying to call. So let us take his call and see what he have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to use doctor. Let us see this doctor. Uh, no, he's not answering. So, as you see here in the first first page in the Quran, it says it clearly that this is according to report the tale of Hafs uh, 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 of the, the son of Suleiman, uh, according to Asim, uh, according, 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 according. And at the end, they say according. To Uthman ibn Affan, and according to Ali, and according uh, Ali ibn Abi Talib, and according to Zayd, Zayd ibn uh, Thabit, according to Ibn Kab, according to the Prophet. Hello? <laughs> My friend, you uh, you are calling the wrong number. You should go to the deliver delivery room. Uh, so as you see, the Muslims, they have nothing really. If we go back here to this verse in the front of us, chapter 5, verse number 3, look what this verse is saying, which is proving our point that the Quran is a messed up book and it's not written in order and never been, there's no way, there's no way that Muhammad, he said, he made uh, such a mistake. There's no way. Because that would be really Muhammad would be out of his mind, and uh, it's proving that Muhammad obviously, you know, he's taking cocaine and heroin and hashish. Look at this. He was talking about today, I like I forbid for you eating the blood, the flesh, the swine, etc. etc. And then he arrived here, he says, read carefully in the same verse. Today, you believers, hmm, today. I have perfected your religion for you. And I have completed my favor. Here they say the blessing. <laughs> Stupid translation. My favor upon you. Hmm? Or accepted. I accepted, you know. And I accepted Islam for you as your religion. Okay, hold on. When you say today, you are referring to a time, specific time. That is today. What happened in this day? You forbid them from eating swine? I mean, the Islam perfected by forbidding eating swine? So what all the, the chapters came after those, this chapter, what, what is the need for them? If Islam today is became perfect and complete, You know what I mean? You see, when the Messiah was on the cross, he says, it complete. It complete. But it makes sense. This is the last thing. Like, it's complete, the mission, right? Which means he's a crucifixion. He knew he would be crucified, and it happened. Here, we have supposedly Allah, not a man, 
speaking saying to thee I perfected your religion for you completed my favor upon you so how you perfected and this is in the beginning of the Quran this is, should be the last verse in the Quran correct in order for this verse to make sense this verse should be the last thing to be in the Quran the last sentence in the whole book And this is a very clear proof that Islam uh, or Quran is based in a mixed up book. There's no book. This is why the Quran never says that the Muslims are the people of the book. The Quran call us Christians and Jews people of the book. Which means the Quran itself admit that we have a book and they don't. This is how stupid this cult is. And how in the world you say to them, I forbid you from eating swine and the dead uh, sheep and etc. and what the lion eat. And then you say to them, today I perfected your religion. That is what per perfect Islam. There is hundred. This is a chapter number five. Chapter number five. That's mean, you know, we have 111 verse a chapter, uh, 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 113 chapter, right? Sorry, hold, uh, uh, 100, uh, 109 chapters, sorry, 109 chapters are not necessarily because today Islam is completed. It's completed. You see, this is not my translation, Abdul. You might say I'm making things up. You can say whatever you want. You can change the translation. This is chapter 5, verse number 3. This is a translation. If you, uh, I don't know why it goes back to this arbory. I switch it to uh, the donkey, uh, different donkey. It goes back to this guy. Let's, give, let's see Maududi. Okay. Forbidden to you is the crying blood, the flesh, the swine, the animal, the died, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and here it says, This is this day I have perfected your religion for you and have bestowed upon you my bounty in full measure. That's it. Everything is done. This is cannot be a book of God. This is a book of shish kebab. How you say to them today, I completed my favor upon you, and Islam is completed, and yet Islam is not even in the beginning. The only solution for this is to say that this verse, somebody took it and put it in the wrong place. This is, should be the last verse in the Quran. Do we have any Muslim He have anything to say? Anyone? You see, I cannot find. Uh, look at this. I mean, just to show you how stupid this is wrong. Did he just say? It? Did he just say it? today? I completed your religion for you. Okay. Well, we go down. Go down. The verse after it says, "This day, all things, all good things have been made lawful for you. The food of the people of the book." Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I thought Islam is completed. Why you keep making giving them law? You, you know what I mean? If Islam is completed, as we see here in the screen, this day I have perfected your religion. It's perfect, completed my favor upon you. That's it. So what this is? Why you keep talking and you giving them more law? Today I make for you to lawful to eat from the Christian and the Jews. And by the way, this verse here proves that the Muslim was when they say we eat halal food only, it's a lie. Halal food in Islam is any any food is cooked by the Christians and the Jews. It's halal, as you see. When they say halal, brother, we eat halal, halal. The Quran says what halal, our food is the halal, not your food.
even if we cooked for you poo poo you have to eat it because here we go the Quran says the the food of the book the people of the book is halal to you permitted If you remember, there is a Muslim, Abdul, from Germany. He said he was quoting from the Old Testament where it says, and uh, like, you know, uh, talking about, about how people will suffer, that even they will use the dunk of a human and the animals to make their fuel from it, to cook in it. He lied and he says, the Christians, the Bible teach that the Bible says that you eat the dunk. Which is absolutely a lie. It doesn't say that. It says you use it as a fuel. But when he said that to me, I got him busted. I said, "Okay, as long we cook dunk according to you, so how your stupid Quran says that our food is lawful for you?" And for sure, the Muslims they have nothing to answer with because they are, you know, I mean, this is stupid. How you teach people that the Christians they eat shit? Excuse my language. Yet the Quran says to you, the shit of the Christian is lawful for you. This is why they don't dare to debate me. They are silly and stupid. They don't have knowledge of their book, and they have they have a big mouth. I am a Muslim. If you can answer this question, you will convert. My friend, I don't want you to convert. Stay as a Muslim. I want you to go to heaven and take a selfie with your long penis, which is English. If you convert, leave Islam, we will laugh at what? I want you to stay as a Muslim, go to heaven, take a selfie with your long penis, and let it, and you tell me, explain in the Venus, in, in, in the heaven, sorry, how you can walk with that penis. I mean, if that penis is behind you, I can say you drag it. But penis in the front of you, how you can carry it? And it is endless. Maybe you are going to put some uh, trailer, Don't convert. Who care if you convert or not? If you go to hell, you go to hell. If you go to heaven, you go to heaven. None of my business. I'm here to share the truth. Yeah, call me and ask the question. Go ahead, Mr. Ahmad. And you know the 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 funny why Muslim don't ask questions about their own religion. I mean, what the point of this religion? What the point of this Quran? Okay, I believe now. If I believe in Allah and I do this, Allah will make my penis endless and will give you a lot of women, and they are, they are horny. A woman I never met, and they are waiting for me. They cannot wait, so we can do boom boom. I mean, this is the most funny stupid religion ever. So what we have here, we have a God. He works as a pimp. He have a pimp house. He say, if you obey me, I will let you get inside my house. Nice to meet you. Okay, Allah, what we will have inside your house? We have uh, uh, open buffet. Uh huh. What 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 meat we have? Do we have shrimp? No. No shrimp? No. Uh, do we have beef? No. Do we have a steak? No. So what we have only bird meat <laughs> bird meat a river of wine a river of milk and a river of a sperm that is for Muhammad only uh, the, the one who's trying you are you trying to call me Ahmad Ahmad did you try to call me or not yet Call me, call me, Ahmed. Let me hear you. <coughs> About Khalifa, which Khalifa? All of them, they are Khalifa. Even Adam is a Khalifa. You believe it? In this religion, everybody is a Caliphate. If Jesus and the Father are one, is Jesus equal to the Father? You know, 
the the Muslims they repeat the same question and you explain it and you repeat it and they will come the second day and they will ask the same question they are silly I, I, you know I, I I'm worrying to explain to you in details if you give me a call but in the same time I will ask you the same question is that fair guys is that fair just to be sure that we are not playing a game here just to waste our time I will ask you a question from the same nature about the nature of your God you Muslim you do not know who is your God you do not know what what Allah mean you do not know his nature and you are confused about every everything about him and yet you are debating us about if Jesus is equal to the Father <laughs> equal in what the quality the nature even your question is silly. This is a very deep question, but look, and you, you, you take it, you think this is a question about hummus. Is this hummus equal to this hummus? If we are talking about the nature of a human being, no, the Jesus, he said, my father is greater than me because he is in the flesh of a man. If we are talking about forgiveness and the ability and the power, Jesus have everything, everything the father have, I have. And this is why we see Jesus. The, the Bible says everything created by him and for him. Him who? Jesus. So when you ask a question, either you are smart or you are just copy-paste. Same time, if we ask you the same question, is Allah equal to his word? Jesus is the word of God. That's what the Bible says. He is the word of God. Quran is the word of Allah. Is Allah word is equal to Allah? Who is the Muslim have the courage to answer? When a Muslim he dare to ask that a question, do you know what they did to him? Anyone knows the story? A big scholar in Islam, he start trying to explain how the word of Allah can be, because this is a, something no Muslim have an answer for it. They brought him to the caliphate and they slaughtered him in the mosque in the Eid of Al-Adha, the day of sacrifice. Instead of bringing a sheep to sacrifice, they sacrificed this guy. They brought him inside the mosque and the caliphate, he went down and he cut his head. What is his crime? What is the crime? This guy, he said that the word of Allah is created. In Islam, if you say the word of Allah is created, you are kafir. And now we have a problem. If the word of Allah is not created, so what is the word of Allah? It is divine. It is eternal. Okay, where it's coming from? They will say to you, it's coming from Allah. But you just said to me, it's not created. Coming from Allah, but not created. So they make big speeches and they think they have a smart questions, but in fact, the same question they are asking for us, it's very easy to explain because we believe in the Trinity. For us, Jesus speak to the Father. Yes, we have a Trinity. Allah pray to who? You don't have a Trinity. When Mimi Hijab, he said that Allah, he pray for, not to, he just get you busted because here we go, Allah pray for who? Who care if it's two or four, you idiot? What we care for is Allah, he pray. So the Muslims, if they, you know, the, you know in, in, in the Middle East, we have a statement, an Arabic statement. They say, if the camel, he knew how his back looked like, he will die from heart attack. This is exactly the situation of the Muslims. They think they have the straight back. When in fact they have the back of a camel. Don't buy a mirror to a Muslim. That is not a good thing. They see the whole world ugly, the whole world evil, but not, when they are the good ones. But yet their women cannot walk in the street safely alone. 
go and see if a woman walk in the street in the Middle East alone, what will happen to her? A thousand and thousand of dogs, they will follow her and sexual harassment, and mostly they will rape her in the middle of the street. Let your wife go in the bus in Egypt or any Islamic country and see what will happen to her. She will be she will get a bread net before she come down from the bus. And yet the Western are the unholy and the Asian, they are bad. And, uh, uh, you know, I mean, the whole world is disgusting and they are the holy one. They have a big mouth, but they are empty from inside. What happened to this guy, Ahmad? What happened to you, Ahmad? I thought you are you have a question for me. The first thing I learned about um, Middle East and Muslims is about hypocrisy. Uh, let us see what Ahmed saying. There is too many hadith. Not all of them are right. Hey, here we go again, guys. There is too many hadith. Not all of them are right. Okay, I will go with what uh, what Mr. Ahmad he said. Uh, uh, read with me, please, what he said. Let me let me zoom in in his text. <laughs> Do you see what Ahmad said? There are there are too many hadith. Okay, but not all of them are right. Okay. I mean, what kind of religion based on the hadith if the hadith is not confirmed to be right or wrong? As long as you just said that there is too many hadith and not all of them they are right. Why Allah, he based your religion in something can be wrong and can be right. Can't he make all his teaching in the Quran? Why we need the hadith anyway? Why the Christians they don't have hadith? <clears throat> Why the Christian they don't say this is a weak hadith? You see, you Muslims accuse the Christian that their book is corrupt, but you are the one who suffer and keep saying to us, Oh, this hadith is not accepted, oh, this hadith is weak. Oh, this hadith is not fat. Oh, this hadith is not heavy weighted. So you yourself approve to us Islam is not trustworthy. How does God he himself was not able to accomplish a mission by giving us something solid to believe in have nothing to do with weak and strong. Have you ever heard of a Christian saying to you that what uh, what Peter said was weak? Have you ever heard of a Christian saying to you what Paul he said is weak? In fact, Islam is weak. This is the truth. You have a weak cult, and the only solution for you to jump over the questions and over and over the harassment of the word of written in your book and hadith is to say, oh, this hadith is weak. And by the way, hadith, which is weak, is accepted. When anything, anything is embarrassing, they say it is weak. What about the Quran? The Quran is weak too. What do you think, Mr. Ahmad? If Allah religion is based on the hadith and the Quran, why Allah did not protect the hadith? And what is the hadith anyway? The Quran itself is a hadith. Do you want me to show you? The Quran is according to according to the same as the hadith. And not only that, even the Quran itself presents itself as a hadith. 
Allah himself he says the best of the hadith is this Woman as the Allah hadith and chapter 4 verse number 87 do you see the word hadith who who is better to tell us hadith better than Allah Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? <clears throat> no problem, Ahmed. Take your time. I'm waiting for Jibreel to bring me a delivery. I invoked Allah, uh, and Allah supposedly will send me a verse. With the delivery guy, his name is Jibreel. Who is a Muslim person? He can call us and tell us one thing about Islam is it truthful anything In the Quran in chapter 52 verse number 34 Allah he says bring hadith like this if you are truthful And then he says did they come into being without any creator or they were they their own creator i mean look at this logic the people are debating muhammad saying to them saying to him prove to us that you are a prophet how you say to them they believe in god those people they believe in god how you say to them did they come into being without any creator i mean what does have to do with this are you debating an atheist? No. <laughs> Obviously, the one he's talking there, he have nothing to say. Is you know just a stupid statement. This is an answer you say for somebody is an atheist. But those are not atheists, and not only they are not atheists, they believe in Allah. In the top of that, not only they are not an atheist, they believe in Allah Himself. Yet Allah He says to them. Did they come into being without any creator? I mean, how stupid that is. And imagine I'm debating an atheist and I say to him, did you become a being without a creator? Well, yeah, he say, he say to me, yeah. I mean, what kind of debate this debate is? Logic is silly. Talk is like a, a bunch of kids in the nursing home. And the first one saying to him, do we have a hummus? He said, yes, we have hummus. The second one, he said, how hummus became hummus? He said, do you think that hummus became hummus by itself? Any Abdul? What a translation you read? There's many translation, you know, uh, uh, like if if you are a person who speak uh, Greek or Aramaic, you can make a best decision about what translation is perfect. But at the end of the day, translation is translation. Any Muslim have anything to say to us about how funny the Quran is? I could not find one thing in the Quran is, is, is a truthful. In the top of that, we see a God. He do not even know how to write Arabic. Look at this. 
Am indahum khaza'inu rabbaka am hum al-musaytirun. Is al-musaytirun with seen or sawed? <laughs> Once in the classroom in that when I was in a student, I was a troublemaker, I have to admit. I wrote an Arabic word wrongly. The teacher he hate me to death because always I put him in the corner. So when he came to the classroom and he had my paper in his hand, it was like an Arabic class. He said, Look at this guy. Look, 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 look. This guy, he claimed that he is better than you, he know more than you, he is smarter than you. And look how he wrote this word. And he started calling me donkey, an idiot, stupid. Even five years old kid will not make such a stupid mistake. It was his opportunity. This guy, he have a lot of hate in his heart for the whole year. You know, like it's like a bomb and explode. Finally, he found something to call me names with. Finally. So he started calling me all the names. Stupid, idiot, donkey. You have to be ashamed of yourself. Blah, 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 blah. And he's talking, talking, talking. And then he looked at me. And he 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 find me smiling. He said, "Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Look, look at him. Look at him. He's smiling as if I said nothing to him." And then I said to him, "Sir, the word you are saying, I wrote it wrong. This is how it is written in the Quran." He said, "What?" He said, "The word you are calling me donkey because the way I wrote it, an idiot, stupid. This is how it is written in the Quran." The second I said that to him, his face became like a monkey. Ah, uh, 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 he's right. He's, actually, <laughs> this is the right way to write it. This is absolutely the correct way to write it. This is the best way to write this word. Only educated people write the word this way. Like a second ago, I was a donkey. I was a shita. I was a monkey. I was an idiot of the village. I was the most stupid person. A five years old kid will not do it just because I said to him, "This is how it's written in the Quran." Suddenly, I became, and he, you know, he, he, when we, we, like the the ring of the bell, the the, the class is over. It was the last class in the in the day, and we have to go home. He closed the door, and he don't want the, the student to leave because now he was. The kids will go home, and they will say that our teacher was insulting the Quran. They will say that the guy he wrote the word. As it is in the Quran, and he's saying the one who write it there, like there, like this, is a donkey, is a stupid, is an idiot. So the, the teacher he was terrified now. So he closed the door, he started explaining this is the right way to write it, and he started writing in the wall how to write it. This is correct, this is in the Quran, this is the best way. And today, because we became ignorant, we are far away from Allah, and we don't, you know, but we go by the general uh, uh, language, but the the the, the fact. And then after we finished, he said to me, he said to me, I swear by Allah, you are the devil. <laughs> if I am smart and you are a donkey, that's not my fault. And I did write it that way in purpose. It was not a mistake. I write, I wrote that word in purpose. I was waiting for him expecting him to do what he did and this is why i was like i have my hand in my cheek and i was smiling he was calling me names and i was saying i hope he will say more i hope he will say more i hope he will say more call me more yeah i don't yeah yeah continue uh-huh uh-huh yeah 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 uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh. and then at the end i said to him sir this is how it is written in the quran oh boy Any Abdul? It's a stupid book. The Arabic is wrong. The grammar is wrong. Uh, the language is wrong. And not only that, they change even the word Arabic to make it. And, and later they try to make uh, the grammar of Arabic coming from the Quran. So they, they, they changed the Arabic to make it based in what is wrong.
Do we have any Muslim? <clears throat> Anyone? Where is the Abdul's? <clears throat> Nobody? My Skype is open. I don't know why. Who is a proud Abdul when I call me? May they, may they, anyone? <clears throat> yeah, somebody trying to download Skype, no problem. He can, if he did not get it today, he will call it tomorrow. So as you see, this book is really funny and crazy and stupid. Anyone can show us something truthful in this cult? If we ask the Muslim, like here, as an example, we are in this chapter. Al Baytul Ma'mur, the builded house. Okay, what is that? Have you ever heard that God He have a house, He have a Kaaba in heaven, and this Kaaba every day seventy thousand angels they visit it. I mean, what what is that? What is that? The build house and the lifted roof. What is that? It's just a stupid talk. This guy is just making making a rabbi music. If you and even it's a bad a bad song. I mean, even the look at this. وكتاب مسطور في رق منشور والبيت المعمور and uh, what her name Sarsour Linda Sarsour here we go we added a chapter to the Quran verse roar 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 but if you look at the meaning there's no meaning <coughs> this is Ahmed we are calling him Answer, Ahmed. Answer. Hello. Hello. Yes, Hello. Mr. Ahmed. How are you? Yes, bro. Uh, how are you? You fine? I'm all right. What do you want to say to us, Ahmed? Yes. Uh, I just have a simple question. You are uh, saying that there are contradictions in the Quran, and it's uh, and there are many false things in the Quran, right? No, I did not say that. Uh, the Quran itself is a contradiction. All of it. Okay, uh, I have a question. So, uh, you saying this, but your Bible also has contradictions. Well, you know, those who understand, they will not so find a contradiction. No, 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 my friend, my friend. Those who have knowledge, they will not find a contradiction. You need to study, and then you will find that those contradictions are not a true. Uh, in the Quran, we could what? not find we could not find anyone to show us that the contradiction or not exist. But let me ask you now: Are you convinced that the Quran is full of contradiction? Yes or no? Uh, 
uh, <laughs> to be honest, no. <laughs> okay. So shall we do some uh, a trip together inside the Quran? Me and you? Yes, I I don't mind, and okay. and hopefully how Allah created the how Allah to, uh, no problem how Allah created the earth and the heaven. Do you know what He created first? Do you know what is the first thing He uh, created? I actually forgot that verse to be honest. No, no, yeah, not about her, not about me? the verse. It doesn't matter. Which what what is the first thing Allah created according to you as a Muslim, as you like you learn all your life? How, how old uh, are you, Mister Ahmad? Uh, if you don't mind to say. Uh, I'm 17. 17? Why you don't give me somebody older from you, my friend? Well, uh, because I need to know the truth. Oh, uh, right. no not problem. someone other. Okay. <laughs> in the school, you go to Islamic school. They teach you like Islam as in, in the school. Uh, are, I used to. Are you Shia or I are you Shia so or Sunni? Really no are you Shia or Sunni? Uh, I'm Shia. Yeah, I can't tell from your name actually. Your name is Baalbeki, right? Uh, yeah, I'm from Lebanon. Yes. So, uh, uh, you as a Shia, what they taught you about the creation of the earth? What is the what is the first thing Allah created? Okay, uh, God created the earth. Uh, I guess in seven days. Seven days? No, and it's, the it's, first it's, it's uh, one six days. Step. Six days. Six days. Uh, I'm sorry, six days. Yeah. And what is the yes. first thing? And uh, and the first and the first one to uh, to be on Earth is Adam. Adam, but before he created Adam, he cre had to create the Earth first, right? Yes. Okay. So what he created first before Adam? The first thing. The first thing. When Allah he created. The earth and the heaven. What is the first he created? Let us make it simple. The, he created the earth or he created the stars and the sky? Which one he finished first? Uh, uh, the earth. The earth. Okay. Well, the Quran says in some verses, yes, the earth he created first. And some other okay. verses say the opposite. Let us see uh, together. Can you show me, please? You can see the screen with me? Uh, I, I can, but but I trust you, and after this call, I can check. No problem, it's recorded, you can review later. Chapter 2, verse number 29. Do you read Arabic? Uh, yeah, I know Arabic. Okay, it says, Who will let the Hala Kalakum of the Ordi Jamian, who must tow it as Sama if a so one, Nasabo Samawat, or who will be Kulisha in Aileen? It is He who created everything for you in the earth, and then He turned into the sky, then Thumma, after that, actually, and then after that is what Thumma mean. Uh, he turned to the sky and he made the sky seven skies. So based on this verse, Allah finished the earth first, correct? Uh, can, can can you remind me what verse this is? Chapter 2, verse number 29. Okay. Okay. If we go to different verse in the Quran, we will yes. find we will find the opposite. Uh, what what does it say? Well, the Quran says that Allah, He created the sky first, and then He created the heaven. You know? Are Are you sure about that? I'm very sure. You know, it's recorded. People are watching, right? And you are going to see it later. Uh, uh, okay. uh, can 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 just give me a second to open my Quran? No problem. Okay. <clears throat> By the way, for those who are from Indonesia, soon we have a very good news for you. The book which is retranslated into the Malay language, soon it's going to be out. And actually, I am thinking to give it out uh, totally for free. Which means you will not pay a penny. 
All right. But I warn you, it's a big book. It's almost 475 pages. All right. So we will see how we can provide it to the people because I know that in Malaysia and Indonesia they are forbidden to get my book and uh, you know for me I have a mission is not about making money and I found it's more important if I can provide it and there is difficulty anyway for them even if they want to have it is going to be almost mission impossible so it's better for us to provide it uh, for them and we will see uh, how we can have it available for all of you uh, they cannot ban it because simply uh, people will be able to download from the internet let them try <laughs> you know what i mean let them try it's impossible to ban it that's it this book is a disaster now this book is translated in the malay language uh, if we can have it translated in the Indonesian language, will be better, you know. Uh, so, you know, we see if we can do that soon. I hope so. What happened to our brother here, uh, Mr. Ahmed? He hang up. So anyway, I don't know what happened to him. Looked like he have a bad internet. As you see in this chapter here, chapter seventy nine, verse number. 27 28 29 30. you can read it all it says here that Allah he finished the sky he rise it up he gave it the lights the day and the night and then after that the here this says and moreover the fact it doesn't say more moreover in Arabic it says well or do bad which mean after that anyone who speak Arabic he knew that this is what it's meant change the translation look how the thing it changed and then the and the and the earth after that he expanded so he finished the whole sky first he made the day he made the night which mean the light you know the, the lamps the stars he raised the sky high he made the lights he made the days which mean the light for the earth the stars the Sun and then after that he made the earth flat and then after that he brought the water and then after that he put the mountains If you go in Quran chapter 41, the story is different and different from chapter number two. Let us go to 41. And you will see here. Tell them, O Prophet, do you indeed disbelieve in him and a sign compares to him? who created the earth in two days he is the lord of all being in the universe and then after that creating the earth he set up the mountains okay that's nice and he put all the substance of the earth or the substance of the earth in four days so now we have two days here four days here and then after that he went to the sky and he finished the sky but in the chapter 79 is the opposite it is totally the opposite after that he went to the sky and he made them seven skies and then then he made them seven heavens in two days and he put and he made the lamps but in chapter 79 Allah he made the sky first the lamps second after that he moved to work in the earth after that he made the the water and the substance after that he placed the mountains 
Have you ever heard of a God? He don't remember which one he created first. We have a person whose name is Ishmael. He says, I am deceiving people. My friend, call me and prove me wrong. Here we go. We are live and we are showing the evidence. Guys, am I showing you in the screen what I'm talking about or I'm making things up? Call me. Show me. Silence me. Why you don't call me Ismail? I'm showing both. Here we go. Chapter 79 and chapter 41. You know what? I will do this. I will open them in two windows next to each other. <clears throat> Two windows. Let us do that. <coughs> so people will see the two chapters together in one line, in one page. All right. All right. There we go. So look at this. I will make the screen big so everybody can see. And I challenge you to say to me, I'm lying. Keep your word. Keep your word and prove me wrong. Is it showing both, guys? Is it showing both? Okay. So this is a chapter 79 in the left. In the left side of the screen is a chapter 79. Look what it says. Are you harder to create or the heaven he made it? He raised it high and then, then he put it into right good state. And he made dark and night brought out its light. And the earth he expanded after that. Okay, so now we hear from this chapter, we learned that Allah, he finished everything in the earth and then, that, sorry, in heaven, and then he went to the earth and he started working in the earth. And then he put the water, and then he put the mountains, and then he created the cattle, as you see. In this chapter, it's the opposite. Read with me carefully. <laughs> Tell them, O Prophet, do you indeed disbelieve in him and assign compared to him who created the earth in two days? After creating the earth, he set up firm mountains. Hold on. So the first thing is created is the earth. And then the second thing, what? I want you to take notes. The second thing is the mountains. The third thing, he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke. And then he then he turned to the heaven while it was a smoke, which means it was nothing. He said to the heaven and the earth, come to me, willingly or unwillingly. And then after that, he made the sky, seven sky. And then after that, he made the lamps. So the last thing Allah, he created the lamps, correct? Let us go back to this verse. When Allah, he made the lamps, he made it right away from the beginning. Read carefully. Are you harder to create or the heaven? He made it. He raised it high in height and then he put into lights. He will go the lamps. So this is the second thing he, he created. And then he made the dark and the night. So we have we have uh, we have the sun. And then after that, he start working in the earth. <laughs> and you are telling me I'm lying? Isn't it clear, guys? Why are you are saying to me, no, no, call me so everybody can laugh, everybody can see it. It's next to each other. What is the first thing Allah He did when He created the Quran says in chapter two, the earth? Okay, forget about that. The earth is created first. No problem. But which one Allah he finished first? In 
chapter 79 Allah finished the sky first and then he went to the earth and he started working in it as you see in chapter 41 Allah he started working in the earth and at the end he worked in the sky and at the end he worked in the stars What do you want more than this proving that Islam is a false religion? So why you don't call me Mr. Ismail and prove me wrong? Everybody is watching. This is this is God, he cannot remember what he created first. Yes, Ahmad. Uh, hello. You hear me, Ahmad? Yes, I can hear. Uh, right. Did, yeah, you, see, did you see the screen? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. What do you think? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, this is a big thing. Like I can't uh, be on a religion like this. To be honest. So you know, obviously, this is uh, this is not can't be from God, correct? Yes, uh, you, if God, I mean, Allah also states a verse. I don't know where exactly. I know where it is. Correct? Uh, no, no, the verse about uh, you won't find any contradiction. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one, actually. Yeah, it says if, if this is this is not from Allah, right? This is the one yes. you're talking about. Yeah, so uh, why they cannot. And you know, deal with the Quran because if this is he is saying, if this is not from Allah, it will find a lot of contradiction. And you just saw yourself, it's a clear you speak Arabic, they can yes, uh, I, they can uh, deceive in a translation, try to fabricate to lie to us, but in Arabic, it's so clear. Well, thank you for showing me the truth. <laughs> so, what do you say, uh, Ahmad? Are you going to leave uh, Islam? Uh, well, uh, uh, can can you can I ask you a question? Sure. Uh, you were a Muslim before, right? Oh, no. I think no, I read that. No, I wasn't. No. Oh, and I, I, okay. I, I'm too smart to be a Muslim for a second. Sorry to say that. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm not trying to insult well, you. You are, you are born from a Muslim family, I understand. I'm not insulting you. But I'm too smart uh, to be a Muslim for a second. Okay, okay. And you are young, you know. I mean, uh, and you're eight, when I was in your age, I was trying to uh, search in two. So you are in the beginning and you are smart to, uh, at least you are honest and you are... Uh, uh, Still in the beginning of your life, and you can make decision right now. And this is why I'm saying to you, you know, you have to make a decision. In chapter four, yeah. verse number eighty-two, it says, "If this is not from Allah, you will find a lot of uh, contradictions." Well, Allah Himself, He said that to us. How you know that yes. this is from Allah? If there is contradiction, and this is obvious. I mean, this is clear, like like the sun. Yeah, yes, but you know, uh, when Islam is a false religion, this is the first thing that you will Murtad, I don't know if you know what that my friend means. explain to your family, explain to your mom, let them see. I mean, Murtad, which one is better to be a Murtad or to be a donkey all your life? Yes, yes, you have a point. <laughs> I mean, come on, you know, okay, Murtad, Murtad, I better be Murtad, but not to be stupid, my friend. And you are smarter than this, and you can, I can tell you are coming from a good family, you are polite, I can tell the way you are talking to me. Your parents are good people, I can tell they are not uh, savage people. And you know, uh, 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 I can feel inside you. You have a good spirit. So, what is going to stop me from leaving such a stupidity? I mean, uh, uh, what? Because just my parents are Muslims. I will say, okay, I'm going to stay Muslims, even though I don't believe in it. This is hypocrisy. You know, yes. imagine this, Ahmad. Imagine I stay as a Muslim, but I don't believe in Islam, and yet Allah will take me to heaven. If Allah take me to heaven, and yet I don't believe in Islam, that's mean Allah is a stupid too. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> like you mean like now he know that you don't believe anymore okay in your heart and he knew that he got busted and yet still he will take you to heaven just because you stay as a Muslim that's me he's stupid yes yes dude uh, I, I need to say this you are so funny <laughs> like your laugh just changed the mood of a person so um uh, I'll uh, I will think about it
No, no, For my sure. friend, don't think, don't think, stay as a Muslim so Allah we can give you an endless penis. <laughs> 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 and women, their ass is one mile. Imagine, guys, I go to heaven of Allah. Here we go, Christian prince going to take shahada. He go to heaven and uh, uh, Allah, he called Christian prince. Hey, Christian prince, I have a reward for you. I have women, they have half one mile ass. I mean, that is a reward or this is a punishment. What if she jump in the top of me? One mile ass, what I will do with her ass? I mean, I'm going to have a worse, like World War II. I'm, I'm going to order my wives to bend over and fart at my enemies. Why in the world the wife, she have one mile ass? <laughs> so, you know, to be to be part of this cult, I mean, you you have to kill your, your your brain. You have to kill it. You have to put it in drugs. You have to take cocaine or heroin, and you know, I mean, that's crazy. Okay. Um. So so you so you believe in the Trinity, of course, right? Yes. But before we talk about anything, I want you to say to me that you are out of Islam. I'm not punish. I'm not uh, forcing you. I want to hear it before we change the topic. If you want to talk about Christianity. For me, I don't talk about Christianity with someone. He is brainwashed with such a book, stupid book because there's no point. Okay, okay. Are you out of Islam, my friend? Yes. I mean sure. to that. Hallelujah. I mean to that. We are happy for you, uh, Ahmad, that you decide to leave Islam. And we pray that the Lord will open your eyes and will light your heart to find what is right for you. Regardless if it's Christianity or not Christianity, let us pray that may the Lord open the eyes of this man this 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 gentleman to find the truth wherever it is if it's not the christianity then let it not let it not to be christianity if it's christianity then it's christianity the truth my friend is what we are seeking and we pray that you will be guided and you will find the truth what is your question for oh. me Ahmad? okay so um you believe in the trinity okay so i find it really confusing no, it's not confusing. Very, it's very easy. You see, the Trinity is around us and everything. You, you have a family, right? Uh, I'm I'm sorry. What? Uh, yeah, just, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 you have a family like me, right? You have a mother and father, right? Yes. And you are the son, right? Okay. Okay. So God, He, everything He created have His fingerprint in it. And when we say his fingerprint is designed, everything is designed based on the Trinity. What is the source of life for us? We as a human, what we need? Uh, we need food, of course. Water. No, no uh, but food will not come unless there is something else. Food comes from something else. If we don't have sun, there is no food. If we don't have water, there is no food. Correct? Uh -huh. So, the sun, the sun, is a reason for the food to exist. The, the the green, the green grass, is the source of all food, or let us say, even the, the little tiny one in the water. This is the one who provides us with everything. But the sun is coming, and when the sun comes down to the earth, what 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 does sun bring with it? Do you know? The sun stay in in the sky, right? The sun stay there as a star. Yes. But what come to us from the sun? Uh, the uh, you know my English is not very don't good. Don't worry, don't worry. My English is not good too. You know, I once <laughs> once I went to a chat room and uh, I said to them, you know, I I said to them uh, like hello guys, and they they yes. they kick me out. They start calling me names, and I go to the second chat room and I say hello guys, and they kick me out and they call me names. And the third chat room, the third chat room. I mean, I said, what's wrong with those American? And later I found that I was writing the word guys wrong. I was saying hello gays. <laughs> <laughs> so you know nothing nothing wrong i mean uh, what a big deal so I, instead of saying to them hello guys with my funny english i was writing down hello gays and whatever i go in chat room i say hello gays and they bounce me stupid idiot get out of here blah 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 like what's wrong with those people what i did i feel like like what the heck what's wrong with those crazy you know why they're discriminating me i just say hello guys and you know i found later that i was saying hello gays so don't worry about your english my friend uh so listen the sun is right in, yes, in, yes, in the, the sky the, the temperature the temperature and the light and the light yes okay now the sun is a sun correct yes of course and the light is a light okay and the heat is a heat 
it's mm. it's a physical thing. I'm talking. I'm, I'm comparing to 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 a spiritual thing to a physical thing, just to make you understand. So, okay. all of them we say this is the sun, but in fact it is a three. In the same time, it's one. So we say God. Oh. We say God. The Holy Spirit is is someone we don't see. It's a spirit, which warm our heart, and guide us and be with us. It is invisible. The light is visible, and that is the Messiah. This is why the Messiah, he says, I am the light of this world. And God, oh, okay, he okay, is wait, in wait, heaven, uh, our Father. We call uh, him our Father. So the same son, can, we call it the son. Can you can just repeat the last sentence? Light, light is something okay. we see, and that is the Messiah, the Christ. Mm. He is the light of the world. He is the one who came to teach us. He is the one, and the Bible says everything was created by him and for him. And he is the word of God. How we know God? By his words, right? Of course. Okay. So the Messiah is the visible image of the invisible God. As simple as that. So that is called the Son. He is a person by himself. He is the Messiah. And the, the word of God became a man, not the man became God. We, we Christian, we don't believe that there's a guy, his name is Jesus, and then he became God. No, we believe God, he came to us, the word of God came to us and appeared in an invisible image of a man for the invisible God. God, he humbled himself and he took the image of a man. And that is the word of God. The same as the sun, it come with the light and the light, it take a physical, you know, let us say, uh, uh, existence. The light is, uh, the light, even you can burn things with it, correct? It's a very powerful energy. It's not just a light you make you see, correct? Yes. Like, you know, if you have laser, you can even destroy things, burn them, destroy them badly. And the light is the source of all the food in the earth. But if there's no heat, if there's no heat, the light itself is not is not really, will not do much. The heat, the, the heat we have, like now in, in USA, uh, last week we have like minus uh, 30, minus 40, crazy. Why? Because the sun disappeared from us for a few days. We have a wave coming from uh, 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 from the North Pole. So imagine if the sun is not it disappeared totally from the whole Earth for like fifty days. The Earth is dead. Yes, you know? we we would be dead. Yes, absolutely. We will freeze. It doesn't matter how much you try to. We, we, and there's no food. That's it. The source of food will will, will disappear. So the Trinity is the about the perfection of God. How God He present Himself to us. Is not about me. I choose God to be in three. It's not the Christian says, "Okay, let us make God a three person." No, this is how God He is, and this is how God He thought about Himself. So, what we will say to God, we like you to be different, but still He is a one God. God, He, per, you know, in a, He present Himself, or let us say, we make He make us recognize Him in three person. Because God mm -hmm. is a is a miracle, and nobody we cannot we cannot really. Uh, we cannot describe God. I mean, if if uh, uh, you know, you go you, you go and you see a mountain, you, you you get amazed how beautiful it is. You see a valley, you get amazed how beautiful it is. You go to the sunset, you you are amazed. So what about God, the one who created all all the things? So we cannot describe God by two words. So when we say the Trinity, it is just a description of how God He taught us about Himself. He is He He come to us in a three person, the Father. The Son, the Holy Spirit, the Messiah in this earth, He is the Son. The Spirit of God is with us. The Messiah, He says, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them, which means I will be the third. So uh -huh. the perfection of God is proven always, even by the Trinity. Even if you are not a Christian, even if you are a Buddha, even if you are an atheist, you will find. Have you ever heard of something called the Golden Ratio? Uh, no. The golden ratio is about the beauty, which means everything is designed one to two is beautiful. The windows, the doors, everything is in the in this world is made of one to two. The trees, so everything around us is based on number three. Uh, okay. So for, 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 for the, the Trinity is not really is is not uh, is not really confusing. I mean, this is how God He is, and. Still, for us as a Christians, uh, we cannot describe God enough because we are using a language, and there's no word can describe who and who is you know his glory. 
but God he humbled himself he come to us as a man his name is the Messiah but yet even he as a man he was amazing wonderful and this is why nobody can accuse him of sin or take him down because of his sin you see when we debate with Muslims about okay, Jesus um, the Muslim deb we debate them about Muhammad being a child molester the Muslim debate us about Jesus being God this is how, how good is Jesus you know what I mean <laughs> nobody dare to debate about Jesus if he's bad or, or good you know what I mean Yes, they yes. Can, uh, nobody can, can say it's can bad. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Okay. Uh, if, if if I need to start reading, uh, what what do you suggest? You search what? Re uh, start reading. Yeah, you, you know, I advise you yes. to read the, to re read the New Testament because the Old Testament is uh, uh, is more complicated. Need like it's a because the Old Testament is a history about Israel and uh, Moses Musa's and etc. The New Testament is a lot lighter to understand. And it's for me. It's a lot more important than anything else because the Messiah. This is the Messiah. He came. You see, the Jews they were waiting. All the prophets before Jesus, they were preparing for his coming. Yes, so yes. The I Old Testament that. is important. I'm not saying it's not important. It's extremely important. But everything is like you know. We have. Uh, we are building an airport. The whole purpose of the airport is not the airport. It's the one who is going to land in it. You know what I mean? Yes. So the Old Testament is like the airport, God preparing, our Father preparing for the Messiah to come. All those prophets who came before is to prepare for him his coming when he it is time for him to come. So and he came. So for me, it's important to know about the Old Testament. But for you as a person who is beginning in the beginning to learn about the Messiah, I advise you to start reading uh, uh, the, the, the New Testament. You can pick up any Bible of those, the four, and you start reading them. And there is interpretation in the in the in the in, in the internet uh, for every verse. Every verse, you can search. Okay, this, you know. so uh, so the New Testament is Luke, uh, Mark. It's four books. Uh, four books. Yes. Uh, only four books. Okay. Yes, the New Testament. No, the the, the the four Bibles, but inside them there is there's a, other written like you know Revelation, etc. But there are four four Gospels. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Four witnesses. Four witnesses give us an, a perfect image, and you know the the good thing about having four witnesses is uh, it's like you know if you you go to school and i put a picture in front of the student and i say to them i want every one of you to write down in the paper what you see in this picture you will see each one of them he will write different description even though they are looking at one picture is that correct yes why yes, of course because even though it's the same image the same it's a picture it's not even moving still everyone he will describe something the other one maybe he did not describe so it is it was the inspiration of god to make it in four witnesses so they can complete each other. This is why somebody might say to me, say to me, why it is not saying exactly here, this in the verse, what it says there. It should not say that because simply uh, they are four witnesses, and they are because if the if if the if the book of John is exact copy of the book of Mark, then they would not need the book of John. Mm. Right? You know what I mean? Then we cannot call it the yeah. book of John. We, then we call it only the book of Mark because that's it. Mark, if, if this is the same word, so what the point? So they are they complete the image and they complete the the, the understanding for us as a Christians. Uh, I believe we have a brother. He wanna call us. Let us see somebody here. Uh... No. Yeah. Hello. Uh, 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 Ahmed, you, you wanna you wanna stay? Uh, uh, we have. Uh, 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 I I need I need to go, but thank you very much for your time. All right, my friend. My mom's uh, calling me. All right, my friend. Call me anytime you want. If you have a question, I will be happy to to to, uh, to answer you, and I'm happy that you decided thank to leave us. Thank you time. very 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 much. All right. My okay. Well, thank you. And this is why we say it's very important for us as a Christians to not to be angry from the Muslims calling them names as you see this this uh, this gentleman he is in the front door of the Messiah and soon he will knock at his door and the Messiah he says knock and I will open for you today he decided to leave Islam and as I heard from him he's from a Shia family
happy for him and soon he will be the good seed in his household and God knows how many people he will bring out of this cult so it's very important for us as a Christians to always have the spirit of the Messiah yes sometime me myself I get angry but nothing wrong with being angry but don't be hateful you know what I mean sometimes you are angry why people don't understand sometimes you get angry why people they are doing uh, uh, not what expected like you know and the other day I said we want to have more viewers and people they start calling me names and yet they call themselves Christians just because I said I didn't you know we deserve more instead of appreciating what we are doing some people start calling me so that make me angry but then I have inside me I have the love of the Messiah and I'm not going to hate anyone for putting me down I know what I'm doing I trust who I am I'm confident in my faith and let people say whatever they want to say always remember that when you answer a Muslim you are trying to be an ambassador for Christ so don't use the effort otherwise you are no Christian if a Muslim he is being filthy and you answer in a filthy way that's mean you are both as a you belong to the same God you belong to the same God because if your God is the Messiah you will not use the effort and answer him using the effort unless you made a mistake and you repent so if we go down to the level of the devil and we speak the same level that's mean we are no better We always we have to we, we have to have the spirit of Christ in order to be it's like you know I don't know how to explain to you uh, sometimes we have to use some images to to uh, to explain things like imagine you have a light and you have electricity but you don't have a switch or you have a switch but you don't have electricity and you have a light I mean you have the lamp Okay, the, the light will not come on even you have a lamp and you have a switch So in order to 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 make the light happen you have to have all the requirement and The requirement of Christ is the first is to forgive and to love Well if uh, Sam he want to call he can call me He knows my Skype. We do not need invitation Actually, I receive already in Skype many messages of people leaving Islam and I'm happy for them Look at this beautiful message I received before I start my broadcast today I'm not going to show a name for the security of the person But this is what this person he said I love watching your debate. I think you are special not everyone blessed with this i put you on my pray the holy spirit always etc but let's see the other one uh, i pick up the wrong uh, message there's the one who left islam let us see which one where is the person you know because you get too many messages it's hard to even find out which one is the one who left islam here we go Hi, sir. I am from Indonesia. I want to leave Islam because of you. I have to admit that the Quran full of errors, so it cannot be from the true God, Muhammad, and Muhammad did many stupid things, immoral. And I said to him, happy for you, my friend. And this is right before I start. As you see, it was 8, uh, 842 in my time. So people are leaving Islam, not because... You know they notice that here there is honesty they are not lying to us in the beginning a Muslim will be upset will be angry it's fine that's a good sign actually a person who got he have a jealousy is a good person at the end of the day he's not a bad person especially if his jealousy is about the truth he think he have the truth give him a chance
Это си. Trying to find some Muslims. Yeah, you guys, you are saying to me, Sam Shamu, want to call you, but why he don't call? He can call me. And for me, even it's hard to find his name in my pal talk. What is his name? There's. I have. Do you know how many names I have in my pal talk list? Hey, Sam, how are you? Hey, brother, am I on? You are on air. Everybody, hold here. on, hold on, one second, one second, one second, one second, brother. Let me turn this off. All right, over here. Okay, okay, and okay. Yeah, no, I, I don't like to disturb you when you're teaching, CP. Oh no, no, no. You, you are the last one to be disturbing me. <laughs> yeah. I like Should okay. I put am your I okay? camera on the screen, or you don't want the camera to be there? No, I don't care. I don't care. I mean, I'm already on camera. Yeah. Yeah. So, but is the lighting okay? Is it bothering people? It's okay. Don't worry. I mean. Uh, here we go. Say, say, say hello to Sam. He is with us. Okay. What's up, guys? How you doing? No, yeah, I, I just heard about the Trinity. <clears throat> I was about to post your uh, discussion with uh, Risk Qasim. That was mm. hilarious. You remember him? Uh, Risk. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I mean, you know, He's the guy. I, because I speak today every day to, to many people, so it's hard to sometimes to remember who is who. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he's the guy that uh, wanted to challenge you on John five thirty, mm -hmm. and you he asked you where does Jesus say God, and you use the translation in Mark twelve where it says David called him Lord Jehovah. Right. Yeah, what translation was that? That was pretty good uh, translation. Aramaic, the Aramaic Bible in, in, uh, in plain English. I got to get that one. I got to use it. Yeah. yeah, I got. I'm at my brother's, and we have a dog here bothering me. Okay. Sorry, but yeah, he kept bringing John five thirty. Uh, that and he was trying to show that Jesus can't do anything. But eh. no, I I only wanted to call because you're talking about the Trinity, and see maybe I can help. But I don't like to disturb you. Uh, when you do your show, you're the man. No, no, no. We yeah, all learn no, from you. You are always uh, welcome. And uh, actually, always when I have somebody leaving Islam, I say, I yeah. tell them go and get uh, to Sam Shamon. He can answer you uh, about about the Bible because you know. Uh, uh, I like to designate my time more to make them leave, like to format the computer of the of the cult of Islam, and Beautiful, then they yeah. will be ready to 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 accept the Messiah. So many of them they accepted the Messiah. I don't I don't know how many they came to your channel. Oh yeah, a Islam. lot of them. A lot of people have left Islam, man. I've been saying God is using you mightily. A lot have left this year, huh? I mean, I mean, yeah, a lot, a lot, actually. More more than any other year, huh? It's amazing. Uh, actually, even in the last uh, four months, it was beyond imagination. Like every day. I have uh, like some on the air, some on there. They are in text, like this, you know, like this guy. He just sent me a text, you know. So every day we are getting a lot, and uh, uh, we are we are getting a new, uh, let us say, uh, a mission toward Indonesia. You know, the biggest Islamic country. Yeah, uh, there's many good uh, good people who they are translating my videos into Indonesian language, and if you go and see the videos, you will see like each one of them have a lot of viewers. So uh, yeah. uh, things is good, and God is good. Yeah, and you finished your Quran translation? I'm working on it, you know. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. I want to get a copy. I was going to ask you another thing. You mentioned Hafs and Asim. The Muslim sources say they are liars. Yes. Uh, uh, where can we get that in English, or is it only in Arabic? Um, I don't know if you can get it in English, but uh, maybe you can search in English, say was Hafs, uh, Hafs was a fraud. Yeah. You, know, uh, Hafs, yeah. you can search Hafs was a fraud, but it's confirmed by all Muslims. Not only that, Hafs hadith is not weak. It is totally rejected. This is how scam wow. he is. You know, not only that, not only him, his stepfather Asim, because Hafiz, he is the son of Al Mughira, he is the son of Asim, but Asim is his stepfather and he learned the Quran from him. Mm. Asim, too, is a fraud. 
So, yeah, it's a family of a fraud. So, uh, Hafs is a fraud, Asim is a fraud, and their hadith is totally rejected. They don't accept hadith from them at all. So, how in the world you reject them to be giving you hadith, but you accept them to give you a Quran? I mean, That's which, amazing. Which one is more important? Which one is more uh, 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 like? Imagine uh, you you witness uh, you can you can witness uh, uh, for uh, uh, for uh, for death crime, but you cannot witness for a bird stealing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow, this is, like, this is <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, so, and and the Muslims know this. I mean, the scholars they know this about Hafsa oh, yeah, Nasr. Absolutely, huh? absolutely. Uh, you know what they can say? Nobody can deny it. They cannot deny it. They cannot deny it. Wow. It's impossible to deny. So wow, uh, uh, wow. it's it's a drama. You know, and uh, they are blind. You know, uh, people they are following what they what they heard, what people say to them, but nobody knows what they are talking about. Yes, yeah. you know. Yeah, see how. Uh, Praise God, praise God that you're doing this because I was gonna buy right now before you came on. I was about to share a couple of your videos on my Facebook pages the one with Risk Asim and the other one that called you from India who left Islam. He was talking about uh, it was titled, they titled it Muhammad Hijab made him leave Islam. It was Indian Muslim became Christian yeah. who he saw the debate with Muhammad Hijab David Wood and then he found your videos and he left. Don't forget to watch the debate between me and Sheikh Abdul Wadud. I don't know if you saw it. Did you saw it? No. Did you see it? No, no, no. I'm gonna see it. The, 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 this guy, he said to me, I will let I will let my Sheikh call you, and he is a student of the Sheikh. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now the big guy, the big boss, he called me. Go and watch it. I'm not going to burn the movie for you. <laughs> and it's on your page. Yeah, it's there. It's called Sheikh uh, Abdul Wadud. But I think there's somebody he have it just the debate only. Maybe you can find the debate only because in my page is like four hours, uh, but maybe you can find only the debate in different page if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna look at it. Yeah, so I'm I'm just listening to you now. If there's something about the Trinity you want me to jump in, then let me know. I'll well, let you know because I like to listen wanna, to you. You heard me what I was saying. If you like, you know, uh, uh, yeah. you see the Trinity. The Trinity for yeah. me, I find a difficulty uh, yeah. to explain it, not because. I cannot explain it, but because my English yeah. is limited, and this is yes. Uh, Sometimes you have to use words, uh, and you are yeah. out of them. You don't have them, you know, to, to use. So English, my English is limited, and sometimes yeah. I I find myself short. You know, it's it's not it's not a, just a normal topic to talk about. It yeah. it needs uh, special skills in language to explain what is it, yeah. it, because all the explanations about language at, at the end of the day, right? To explain something exactly. Precisely, so, and ahead. see, since like you say, you do it in Arabic. That's your mother tongue, and that's what I do in English. And here's the problem, though: the way we explain it in English is not going to be the same the way you explain it in Arabic. Because, for example, from what I know, and you you know Arabic, you can correct me. The word for person in Arabic, they would use akanim, right? Yes, akanim, correct. So yeah, so yeah, so that right there, there's a difference. So this is why Christians who are Trinitarians have to realize. Depending on the language you speak, you're going to explain the Trinity using words that if I were to translate in Arabic, for example, the word person in English, if I translate in Arabic, it comes out as shakhs, right? Mm -hmm. And that's a wrong term to use for God, shakhs, yeah. because I was told, you, you can correct me, that shakhs means a flesh and blood human being. Yes. See, so I want people to hear that because you know Arabic <clears throat> and I want people to hear that. You see, folks, when we say in English, there are three persons, persons. If I translate the word person in Arabic, it comes out as shakh, shakhs, sorry. Hmm. Shakhs means a human flesh and blood person, and that's not what we mean. So you see, the language, you're going to use different terms. But what you were saying is right. The Bible is clear. The Bible is quite clear. God is unlike anything in creation. And it's interesting, even the Quran admits that. The Quran admits, not because we believe that's the same God. And I'm not talking to CP here now. Uh, CP will school me. He's my teacher. No, I'm talking no. to everyone else. No, but I want them to know. I don't want them to think I'm talking to you. I'm no, talking okay. to the it's people okay. listening. No, no, nobody, nobody teach anyone. You know, all of us we are students anyway. No, no, you are. No, well, yeah. But when it comes to Islam and Arabic, we are your students. That's 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 to being honest with God. So I want the people here to listen. Um, the Quran in chapter 42, verse 11, and 112, verse 4 says that Allah is unlike anything. There's nothing comparable to him. So then when a Muslim tells you that, well, how can God be three persons, one God? And then they point to us. They'll say, look, you're one being one person. I'm one being one person. They just committed shirk because they're trying to deny that God can be more than one person and still be one God by comparing him to creatures, comparing him to human beings. 
going against their own Quran. So that tells you how inconsistent, dishonest they are. But we put that aside for now. I'm just going to mention the Bible verses for the people here. Mention the Bible verses for the people here. Write these verses down. We're not going to look at them. I'm just going to give it to you where the Bible is going to say God is beyond understanding. His ways are beyond understanding. His deeds are beyond understanding. And he's unlike anything in creation. So that means expect to find things about God you can't fully understand. That's why he's God and we're not. So I'm going to give these them some verses. Just write these down to confirm what CP was saying to that to that young man who's on his way to being a Christian. You write down Job chapter 5 verse 9. I'll try to repeat it at least twice each verse. Job 5 verse 9. Job chapter 9 verse 10. Chapter 9 verse 10. Job 36 26. 36 26. And Job 37 <clears throat> verse 5. Now that's from Job. I'm going to give you some from Psalms. Write these down, folks. And I can give you hundreds. I'm just going to give you a few just to confirm God does not exist the way we do. He's much greater and beyond our comprehension. So, And that's what the Trinity is, right? The Trinity is something we can see, okay, yeah, God is three in one way, one in one way, but we can't fully understand it, and it's unlike anything in creation. Well, God said, expect that from me. Expect that I'm going to be... And live in such a way that there's nothing like it. Psalm chapter 86, verses 8 to 10. Psalm 86, chapter 86, verses 8 to 10. That's another one. Psalm 89, 89, verses 5 to 8, especially verse 6. So Psalm 89, verses 5 to 8. Psalm 113, verse 5 and 6. Psalm 113, verse 5 and 6. Now I'll give you just a couple more from Isaiah and then New Testament, and that will confirm that the trinity must be true because god says let me repeat it again the trinity must be true because god says i'm unlike anything in creation and beyond your ability to understand and the trinity is unlike anything in creation and beyond our ability to completely understand we can see oh yeah how it can be one and three three and one but we can't fully understand it so <clears throat> that's an argument for the trinity being true isaiah chapter 40 I want you to write down Isaiah chapter 40, verse 18. Isaiah 40, verse 18. Isaiah chapter 40, verses 25 to 26. Isaiah 40, verses 25 to 26. And then I want you to write down Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 to 9. Isaiah 55, verses 8 to 9. And then I'll give you a couple from the New Testament. We're done. Romans 11, 33. <clears throat> To 36 Romans 11 33 to 36 <clears throat> Ephesians 3 17 to 19 Ephesians 3 17 to 19 especially 18 and 19 Philippians 4 7 Philippians 4 7 and one from Job again I gave you Job but this one I didn't mention Job 11 verses 7 to 9 Job 11 7 to 9 now what these passages say they all say I'm gonna repeat like a broken record God is unlike anything in creation. You cannot compare him to anything. No one is his equal. <clears throat> and <clears throat> his actions, his characteristics, his ways, his wisdom, his being is beyond comprehension. And that's exactly what you find with the Trinity. And I'm going to give you guys a true story. True story. This happened when I first started debating Muslims. Uh, I, get, I went into full-time ministry in 1999. 1999, when God put in my heart, to stop working what I was doing and just devote myself full time to ministry and defending Christianity, exposing Islam, 1999. I think it was a year or two after that, I was invited to Michigan. They used to have a monthly meeting, Christians and Muslims in a mosque, where the Muslims would tear the Christians to shreds. I mean, because the Christians didn't know much and they were trying to be nice, you know, you know how to see people be nice, mm. you know. Yeah. And, and the Muslims were destroying the Christian. So a guy from Chicago who was from Michigan, but studying in Chicago, he said, man, I've heard about you. Would you come and do a debate on the Trinity? I go, Oh, my pleasure. I said, my pleasure. So we went there. Glory to Jesus Christ, because I had been studying Ahmad Didat and Jamal Barwi. There was a guy there that was a student of Didat and he was using Didat. So I was ready. So God gave us a tremendous victory. In fact, CP, it was so good that after that debate, they stopped doing the talks in the mosque. 
you know that's that? It. Yeah, that, it's, a, it's the final, <laughs> final match. <laughs> yeah, they, they ended it. They said no more. But here's where what happened. Here's what I want people to pay attention. This was the most amazing thing. This is going to go to the point I was making right now about the Trinity. Okay? Pay attention, guys, because this one, if you, I wish there was a camera. They didn't record it on the professor's face. An Egyptian Muslim professor looked at me very angry and he says to me, okay, there are people, Aborigines, in these third world countries. They don't have TV, nothing, and they know there's only one God. There's one God and they know it and no one taught them. They just know that this is the, you know, what they call the Fatra, right? Uh, the fatra, yeah. Okay. He looks at me, he goes, no one, no one has ever come up with the Trinity. How do you explain that? Okay, now let me repeat what he did. But let me repeat what he just said. And it was the Holy Spirit who gave me the answer right there. When I say he gave it to me, I'm not saying I'm a prophet. But, you know, he puts ideas in our minds, right? Mm -hmm. So let me repeat what he said. No one has ever come up with the Trinity. But you can go to third world countries and you look at the Aborigines in Australia. And they know there's one God. No one has ever come up with the Trinity. So I got up there. Guys, pay attention to this. I said to him, so you're admitting that man cannot come up with the Trinity, right? He goes, yes, man cannot come up with the Trinity, but man can discover there's one God, right? Apart from revelation. Yes. <laughs> so let me repeat again. I want everyone to hear you. You're admitting man cannot come up with the Trinity. Yes. I go, then where did the Trinity come from? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. He just because he just shot himself in the in the foot. You know? Because if he says man can't come up with the Trinity, that means it has to come from God, right? Yeah, I mean to that. But if he says man can come up with it, that means it is within the the mind of a man or human beings. There is a possibility that they can discover that the God who created all things can be triune. So if he says man can't come up with it, that means it has to have come from God because where did the Trinity come from? So if you saw his face, he turned red. And the whole room went silent. And that was the reason why they stopped doing the dialogues after that one. It finished. It's the same as, so, uh, as once, actually, uh, I was with uh, uh, two Egyptian. And one of them, you know, when, you, when they see someone is an Arab and he's a Christian, they get in the heat right away, you know. And he said to me, I, I, I want to ask you a question about, uh, you know, Jesus being God. The other guy, he spoke to me before about Christianity and he knew there is no match. So he told him, no, don't go there. Don't go there. Mm -hmm. Don't go there. He said, just a question, just a question. So I said, okay, it's okay. Ask me. He said, if Jesus is God, then how is he's a son of God? How his father let him die? I said, that's wonderful. That's me. <laughs> Based on Islam, Jesus is God. He said, why? He said, because his father did not let him die. <laughs> <laughs> you got him good. <laughs> go ahead, Sam, because continue. he's alive in heaven. Huh? Yeah. So if, if this is your logic, if Jesus is, is son of God, then he, his father should not let him die. Well, in Islam, he did not, he did not let him die. <laughs> I mean, they are, they are, so they, yeah. yeah yes it's beautiful god made it easy for us to refute this this wicked cult this uh cult of satan and i praise god for you i was about to just say on uh, facebook and i'm not saying in front of you you would have seen it i was about to put the debate with the risk kasim and say this is why we have been blessed to have cp because he is a terror to islam and because of him god is bringing muslims to christ so praise god for you just one thing I want to say, because I got to go change. As you can see, I'm dressed up for nothing. Um, just keep me in prayers, uh, CP and everyone. Uh, without going into too much details, this past year, I've gone through major, major attack on my life, um, satanic attack. Put it this way, CP, uh, because of this attack, I pretty much have lost my children. And uh, there's a debt that's that I, I I don't even want to give the figure. It's it's something that only God can save me from. So I'm in very Satan really wants to stop me and he's and he's coming close. So I need prayers because this attack CP only God can get me out of this. So well you know and uh, prayer and questions will help I hope they will help you to 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 stand and to be to be in your foot. And if you yeah. if you like to post your channel and even if there's people like to make a donation for our brother Sam uh yeah. you know for the hard time he is having uh, Especially for my kids, so if you yeah. just tell them, please. We encourage everyone uh, to do yeah. so. He's my a, children. He's, he's a wonderful yeah. person, and he deserves our support. You know, we are not. Yeah, thank really, you, sir. We are not supporting a man. We are supporting very special person, and the Lord will provide anyway, my friend. No, I know. Listen, my life, your life. We live for Jesus, and it's an honor that we die for Jesus because He is our life. 
And um, I'll be honest with you, the more I see how evil this world is and corrupt the system is, even the legal system, the more I'm saying, Lord, I'm ready to go home because that's where our peace is, right? Well, you know, home for us is always there and uh, we will not go until it's our time to complete the mission. So don't go early. It's okay. <laughs> you know, just pray for my health that yeah, I, yeah, I stick be around fine. because it's an be honor for me to be here. Let me just say, it. what an honor for me to be around when you're around because I could have been born 100 years after you or 100 years before you, but God was pleased that I came to see someone like you destroy Islam because the, your Arabic is a terror. They're scared of you. So praise God. What an honor for me to live in this time to see the internet and someone like you being used of God on the internet because every week there's a Muslim leaving <clears throat> by the grace of God through your efforts. It's amazing. It's every, amazing how many are leaving. Every it's day like, is, wow. Every day is every hour because my, the videos are going all over, posted by everybody. Praise God translated to indonesian and etc so things is really good god is good my friend oh he is he's beautiful and we love jesus and just pray that jesus have mercy on me i'm weak too i get you know sometimes i get frustrated because things don't happen but jesus knows that my heart is his he's my god and someone's just saying on paypal if you ever want to reach because someone said paypal just put in my email it's sam underscore sam underscore s h m n at hotmail.com uh, so thank you guys uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Sam, you, you have your you have a page on facebook right yes it's shamunian shamunian okay. uh, uh, word just please, please guys uh, can you have a better yon here we go uh, guys this is the page of better yon is posted by the admin uh this is where you can find him and you can you can help him there if you if you care to help and i'm sure yeah, do. do pray for my health i have to i've lost maybe 60 pounds i have to lose another 50 by his grace just for my health not to look good just for my health so pray for me guys don't worry you look good anyway <laughs> yeah you look better i love all you right. CP. <laughs> thank you my friend take care god bless you take care bye 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 bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Yeah. all right uh you know uh, sam shamun i have a lot of respect for him he is a very uh, special in person and you know when all of us um Actually, this is what I noticed. The more you are, uh, you know, let us say, fighting for a truth, the, mo the more you suffer. And the best examples is, uh, you know, the apostles of the Messiah, the prophets. Uh, and for sure, we are not even close to those people. You know, uh, our Lord himself, he was crucified for nothing except he is being the truth himself. So, you know, evil life, is comfortable life most of the time. Um, I notice for some reason those who d defend the truth or etc. They do some kind of mission. They are, they are the last one to, to be rich or to be, uh, uh, you know, prosper with money. But I believe that uh, you know, everything have a price. Everything have a price. There is people who they are going to earn money. Uh, we need money. All of us, we need money. Nobody can live without it. But there is people who live for money. And you will notice that the, the more you get stay away from the Lord, you know, the more you might be successful with your money. You know, because uh, the reason for that, I'm not saying that you cannot be a good person in the same time you are rich. No, but it's easier to make money if you are not a believer, because then there's no limit of what is right and what's wrong how to how to bring the money how to make the money how to be successful you know how to get this job how to get this business if you don't have a belief then everything is possible there is no limit there's nothing is called moral and then anything is okay you know uh, let us see if we have Abdul, wanna call us? calling Abdul he tried to call me and I see a missed call I don't know if he will answer or not 
look like he is not answering. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, just a uh, regular view. I just thought. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Say, are you a Muslim? No, I'm next. You are what? Ex-Muslim. Ex-Muslim. You are welcome. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, I just wanted to just you know, just thank you for like. Uh, trying to expose this song for what it truly is. Um, it kind of, at least for me, it just it put me in a position that it led me to Christ. I think I always say lost, I don't think you remember me. Uh, 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 you are saying to me, I don't remember you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I called pre previously. Uh, oh, okay. I think it was the last minute of your show. Oh, all right, I don't really uh, forgive me. You know, it's hard to remember. You know, I, I, I get a lot of calls. Okay, so you, you left Islam Life on Air in uh, in our uh, program here? No, I left a long time. Oh, okay. But like, all yeah, right. I just wanted to say, yeah, I got baptized as well. Um, and, and I just wanted to say, you know, uh, you kind of help me understand Islam and its demonic teachings. Uh, you know, I just want to thank you. Uh, You're welcome, my friend. Don't thank me. I'm doing my duty, and I hope I hope that people will uh, will get what is right, and uh, they will make the right decision, the same as you did. You know, happy yeah. for you that you made the right decision, and uh, thank you for calling. Yeah. All right. Take care, my friend. Thank you. Right. See, there's a lot of uh, ex-Muslims. If there is any Muslim would like to call me, only Muslims, please. If there's any uh, ex-Muslim wanna call. Who is a Muslim on a call? Muslim or ex-Muslim? Anyone? Yes? You have a bad uh, sound. Go ahead. Uh, bad, bad, uh, bad connection. Anyway, sorry, I cannot, I cannot take your call, my friend. You can ask me in the chat. You can ask me in the chat. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? You see, if Allah is God. Then why you are worry about what you will say about Allah? Allah will support you. Allah will inspire you. And by the way, uh, I find Allah is very useful. Actually, if one day I have, a, if I get married and I have four wives or thirteen wives, as what happened to Muhammad, I find that Allah is a very useful way. You know, I will, I will, I will create a verse. And I will say that uh, uh, if you fight with me, uh, Allah will uh, will take my side against you. I never heard of a God who is involved in a family fight. Have you? A guy is fighting with his wife, and God and the angels and Jibreel and the believers are involved in the fight. Chapter 66, verse number 4. Muhammad, he have a fight with his two wives, and they are five foot tall. But obviously, this fight is extremely dangerous to the point it's involve Allah, involve Jibreel, involve 1.4 billion Muslims. They will take their sword to side by side with Muhammad and all the angels. Look at this. Allah, he heard that the wives of Muhammad, they have a strike against him. So Allah, he sent them a special message. If you two, two wives, see how extremely dangerous this, uh, the situation? Allah and the angels, they have a meeting together to discuss what happened in the house of Muhammad. If you two, if the two of you turn into repentance to Allah, 
that is better for you for the heart of both of you have see, uh, 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 swerved from the straight path actually the word sagat in arabic mean they became kuffar sagat aymanukuma the translation is stupid it says sagat qulubakuma which mean their their heart went to became kuffar but if you support one another against the prophet then you sure know surely allah is his protector and then not only allah and jibreel and not only jibreel and every righteous believer and not every right not only every right a and every angel in the world all of those involved in a fight between a guy and two his wives two wives i mean is that how serious this fight is allah allah will support muhammad and jibreel and then every believer in the top of that all the angels of allah i mean one angel can destroy an army all of those to support a guy against two wives they are five foot tall why <laughs> this is what happened when somebody he used the name of god for his own agenda this guy he cannot control his wives and obviously his wives are really crazy or, or maybe he's driving crazy driving them crazy i do not know what's happening whatever the reason is that is not an excuse that God he sent a message like this says you have to repent or you should know that Allah is a protector okay if Allah is his protector of Muhammad is not enough we need more we need Jibreel we cannot have only Allah alone Allah alone is weak I mean have you ever heard of this before so you should know that if you support each other against him then Allah is his protector okay is Allah is enough no we need more support. May they, may they, may they. Jibril is coming. We need and Jibril. Is Allah and Jibril is enough? No. We need every righteous believer, Al Qaeda, ISIS, everybody. Is that enough? No. We need more. May they, may they. More angels are coming. All of this for a fight between a guy and two women. Allah and the believers and the angels. Who is left? Abdul, who is left? A man with his two wives. All of this to support the Prophet. Why? What a stupid cult. And we have a guy, he keep posting in the text revelation. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this guy. Are you okay, my friend? Should we call for, uh, support of Allah for you? Are you okay? What Jibreel in the right of hand of what, what is that? Huh? I mean, some people they are like kids. Revelation twenty two thirteen. I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the first. I am the last. <laughs> you see, the funny that somebody. He, the Muslims, they can't even explain their books. They do not know their books, but they are scientists in our book. They can explain to you the details of the book, even the book of Revelation. They can explain it to you, and they can tell you who is this and who is that. My friend. The one who is the first and the one is the last is the Lord. And this is what it's mentioned in Isaiah 41. I am the Lord, the first and the last. I am He. Let 
they do not know their books and they want to explain to us our book they do not even know who is Allah Allah as you see is the guy is involved in the fight with the man and his two wives Allah is like a, a, you know you know the, the the verse in the front of us here it cannot be from God this is a verse made, made by my grandma who was fighting her neighbor I mean what is that tell your wives to repent and stop fighting the husband because if they stop them fighting the husband you should know that his mother-in-law she will be against him and then his father will be supporting him and his cousins they will take his side I mean what is that this is God talking this is God Can you translate to Turkish? If people help me, we can. Why not? I mean, I do my best. But we have the book in German. Why they want uh, in, in Turkish? They can get the book in German if they are in Germany. But here is a very clear evidence that this is cannot be from God. Muhammad he have a fight with his two wives and he cannot control them they cut him busted he was sleeping with with Mary the copt in the bed of of his wife and she got him busted so they have a strike against him and now he is out of control so what he do as usual Muhammad always use Allah in his agenda so if somebody will disagree with him in something he say Allah said the second he say Allah said that's it don't discuss with me. Allah said, I am right, you are wrong. Yes? Hello? Sir. Yes, my friend, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. sorry, I was just going to say, uh, what website are you using for the Quran? Like, uh, my friend, those questions, please don't make a call for it. Just uh, ask in the text, we will show it to you. It is QuranWow.com. This is the website. QuranWow.com. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. The leave the the Skype call only for Muslims, please. If you have a question, you can ask the admin; they will help you. The Quran, the website we are using is called Quran Wow, and you, as, as you see, Quran is very wow. I mean, look at this wow. Muhammad and his wives they have his wife they have a fight. Allah joined the fight. Jibril joined the fight. All righteous believer joined the fight, and all angels. What they will do? They will throw shoes. It's a fight between a guy and his two wives. What Allah will do there? And why we need all of those? If Allah is God, isn't it enough that Allah is his support, a protector from what? What do you mean he's a protector? What the wives of Muhammad, they will do to Muhammad exactly? Are they going to cut his penis when he's asleep? What do you mean Allah is his protector? What exactly is happening here? Allah is his protector. Okay, hold on. Is that enough? No, we need Jibril more. Jibril, are you there? Come, Jibril, come. We need you. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm just getting my 600 wings. So, Jibril with the 600 wings, is he enough? No, we need all the believers. Hey, ISIS, Caliphate, Al Qaeda, Osama bin Laden, get your weapon ready and come over because the Prophet, he have a trouble with two wives. They are five foot tall. Are you there? We are ready. Takbir, Allahu Akbar. So, the Muslims are coming from everywhere from Pakistan, from Dagestan. From 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 India, from Turkey, from everywhere. Erdogan, Erdogan, Allahu Akbar, Erdogan. Jihad, the wives of the Prophet, they have a strike against him. Takbir, Erdogan, Aman, Rabbi, Aman, Erdogan, Erdogan. So all of those, they will come to save the wife, to Muhammad from his wives. And not enough yet. 
and in the top of that all the angels this is God thank God I am not married I mean if I have a fight with my wife I need all of those I mean why in the world a man he will get married look like women they are extremely dangerous And the Muslim, they say that George Bernard Shaw, he said in his book, which does not exist, that if the prophet was exist today, he can solve all the problem of the world when he's drinking his coffee in the morning. Yeah, right. The guy, he need Allah and Jibreel and all the believers and all the angels just to, to find a solution with two women. All right. Let's see here a question. You have a smaller question now. What do Christians think of Ali? Who is Ali? Ali ibn Abi Talib. My friend is uh, Ali is a criminal. They praised him, they praised his family, they made them God, they made them light. You know, you are a Shia, my friend. You're coming from a Shia Shia. So they made them, they made them gods. Suddenly, Ali, they, they are Anwar, 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 uh, Samawiya, Kanu Nijmat, Al Jabhat Allah. Imagine, guys, they believe that Ali and uh, Muhammad and his uh, children, they are lights. They are not a human. They took a flesh of a human, but they are lights. What Ali? Ali is a criminal. You see, the funny one, you when you listen to Muslims about. Uh, Ali, as an example, he is a hero. Ali, he came and he cut his head. He's a criminal. What cut his head? What does that mean? Ali, even he burned people alive. The same as ISIS. He burned them alive. So they make you believe, you know, always in the in the in the society of dictators. Always the media uh, have a propaganda on the dictators. The dictators is the best. Like during the time of Saddam Hussein, the picture of Saddam Hussein is everywhere. The stadium name, Saddam Hussein Stadium. The swimming pool, Saddam Hussein uh, swimming pool. The school, Saddam Hussein school. The airport, Saddam Hussein uh, uh, airport. Even the tree is Saddam Hussein tree. You go to anywhere, the picture is everywhere. He's God. This is what terrorism do, and this that is Islam. Who dare who dare to say Ali is a bad person? Who dare? You know what I'm talking about, uh, uh, Ahmad. If I go right now to Balbak and I say Ali is a bad person, is a criminal, I will be killed in two seconds. But was he really a, a good person? What is was what was good about him? All of them. Ali and Omar and Abu Bakr and Uthman and Muhammad, they are gang. They are thieves. Always the propaganda of dictators is to make the dictator equal to God. And now the Shia, they beat themselves, they cut themselves. Why? The gang, they were fighting over money. Why Ali was killed? Why the children of Ali they were killed? Because simply they are fighting over money, over power, over authority. They are money worshippers. Somebody is asking about uh, the marriage of Muhammad from Safiya. Maybe, maybe next time we can talk about it. Uh, because I think we have enough for today yeah ali waliullah yeah do we have any muslim would like to call me any muslim want to seek revenge from a christian prince get him busted anyone uh muhammad he married in the church from khadija first of all khadija she was not really christian khadija she was nasara 
and Nasara are a cult. This is why Muhammad in the whole Quran he never mentioned the Christian name. This is why Muhammad in the Quran he could not find the correct Trinity because simply he don't have really you know he did not associate with Christians around him. He have Nasara. And the reason Nasara are exist, you see, if you go and remember the history, you will see that uh, when when the Christians, which is us, the one who believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and you know, uh, and and like, uh, and then rejected anyone who don't have a true faith. So the Nasara simply is coming from the Na Nazarene, not Naz not Nazareth, the Nazarene, which is equal to the word poor poor which mean uh, you know like a poor not in money poor in the understanding of the of, of Christianity of the Bible so the Christian they call those people Nasara or Nazareth or Nazar Nazarian because of their poor understanding of the gospel and then those people they, 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 they left because they rejected by everybody so they went all the way to Arabia where is no Christian authority there in Arabia, there's many religions, and there's no superior religion. And this is how Nasara they found their place there, because simply there's no Christian, there's no Roman, there's nobody, and there they can they can be the Nasara they want to be. And Muhammad, he met with Khadija, which obviously her family they became Nasara, as we see that her uncle, or let us say the cousin of Khadija, uh, his name is Waraka bin Ofal. And he is supposedly a convert Nasara. And the Muslim they claim that he was a Qasis, which means he was a priest. <clears throat> priest for who? For the Nasara, not for the Christians. Robin Kin. How I can call you Robin Kin? Give me your name in Skype. Robin Kin. <clears throat> <clears throat> What's your name? <coughs> Who is a Muslim would like to call us? Robin Ken, I don't have time for kids. Say yes. What yes? Call me. Say yes. <laughs> Say yes. <coughs> That's a good one. <clears throat> and I say no. I supposedly he's the hero. Say yes. Any Muslim would like to call me, feel free. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? Universe saying this Christian does not even believe in their own false doctrine. They are just doing lips oh, lip, What lips verse the voice all of them are atheists who are have things in common sense Waging war against Allah. I mean why I need to wage war against Allah I need only to call Aisha and Hafsa as you see two women they made your God Allah have poo as you see look at this you're a prophet. He have a fight with two women. Her name is Hafsa and Aisha. They are five foot tall, and your religion is so strong to the point we need the support of Allah and the angels and Air and Jibril and every single believer. All of those to fight two women. So how many you need to fight a Christian prince if this is the case? If all of those to fight two women, how you can fight Trump? How you can fight Israel? How you can fight Benjamin Netanyahu? For two women war, you need all of those? 
and obviously your religion is so strong hmm Wage war, war on Allah. The funny guys, they say wage war on Allah. How Allah is God and you can wage war on Him? I mean, how stupid that statement is. How you can wage war in, on God if He is God? That is the most silly, stupid ever statement. You just accepted your God not to be God because if your God is God, nobody can wage war on Him. What kind of God is God? We can wage war on Him. It's like imagine there is a there is a you know we are talking about God and we are talking about something small tiny it's called a human being and this is then human being when a wage war in Allah supposedly is the God I mean how silly that statement is and not only that the Quran says <clears throat> that's for a love. <laughs> يريدون أن يطفئوا نور الله بأفواههم. Chapter nine verse number thirty-two. They seek to extinguish the light of Allah by blowing through their mouth. I mean, how stupid this statement is. How somebody can extinguish the light of Allah by blowing by his mouth? I'm so glad he did not say by farting. This is God. The God of Islam saying that they are trying to extinguish the light of Allah by blowing their, their mouth? Hmm? Where you can invite CP, which country? Okay, I don't know. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Do we have any caller? And what happened to this guy Robin Kin? All this fart was for what? This noise you made in this in the in the text for what? Why you don't call me uh, Robert Kin? Say yes, say yes. I say yes. Hello, I'm waiting for you. Are you going to call me today, next year, next century? What happened? I will tell you the story of Robin Kin. I think Robin Kin he have his girlfriend watching the text, and he will show her that he is a hero. He come to the chat room here and he says, hey, Christian Prince, I challenge you to debate me. I challenge you to say yes. And then Christian Prince, he said yes. So what will you do now? Ken, will you debate Zaker Naik? What do you mean, will you? The question, will he? I made a challenge for him and I actually, I, I made a video about it in Skype. They told me you have to bring 2,000 people to Bangladesh. If Zachary Naik agree to debate me, I will make him quit his career and start working in a cleaning shoes for the rest of his life. The question is, do he dare to debate me? As you see, my Skype is open. Do you dare to debate me? Uh, we have a question there. Yes, uh, Tittar. Why uh, in Islam there is no women see the prophet? Okay. Our sister, they're asking question. Why in Islam there is no women see the Prophet? And I have to agree. Yes, in Islam we have no women see the Prophet. And I have to confirm that. But that is because of a logical riddle. And the logical riddle is in Islam we have no women see the Prophet because if a woman see, became a Prophet, she has to lead the congregation. And if she leads the congregation, she has to do to do and would do. And if she does to do and would do, which means she has to bend over. Then all the Muslims will forget to pray and they will focus on her ass. Thank you very much. What the heck? 
the Muslim will not focus in the prayer of Allah and they will focus in the ass of the women. This is why she is a prophet. It's because of her ass. May Allah ask you. May Allah ask you and ask everyone who was watching this debate. I mean, and the Muslims like, hey, Allah, and their mouth is open, like, wow, look at this answer, man. This is Zakir Naik, a genius. He just insulted you, you, you donkeys. He just said that you Muslims, you have no dignity. He just said that you Muslims, you don't believe in God. He just said that you Muslims worship us. If you see us in the front of you, you forget Allah and you forget Muhammad and you forget Quran, you forget everything. Us is your God. The woman, she cannot be a prophet because if she is a prophet, she has to lead the congregation and she do that. She have to do bow over and she bow over. People will focus on her ass. And you agree? Have you ever heard of a stupid answer like this? Zakir Naik, what Zakir Naik? I will not even accept Zakir Naik for a snack. They are Zakir and Naik. Why in Islam, you know, the women she have the man he have 72 uh, hur and the women she don't have uh, hur. And he said, In fact, according to the Quran, the word hur is the plural name and it's possible to be for male or female. So I guarantee you, sister, that when you go to heaven, inshallah, you will get the same as the man, which means there are 70 men they are going to F you. 70 men they are going to F your mom. Are you happy? Your mom in the heaven, she will be naked, her legs will make a victory sign, and there are 70 line, 70 men lining up to do boom boom. And guess what? The stupid he said that the word whore is male and female, but the Quran confirmed they are females only. Yet they call him a scholar. This is the Quran in front of you. Those who speak Arabic, they can read it. It says, They will not bleed because of sex. They did not lose their human inside their vagina. This is what the world is saying. But the stupid idiot, he says that the word hur is for male and female. If you change the translation, you see the translation here is not true, it's truthful. Let us see if we can find a truthful translation. Or let us say more truthful. All of them they are liars. <clears throat> Which one possible to give us the correct answer? I'm not sure. Let us see this guy. Here we go. Do you see, guys, what is the real meaning? Do you see it? The stupid Zakir Naik, he said that the word Hur is male and female. So what we will do with this verse? Hmm? And what kind of God he described to us the situation of the vagina? Zakir Naik is a certified donkey. Honest to God, if he come to call me in five minutes, I will make him lose the rest of his teeth. And not only that, I cannot, I cannot uh, play with his beard because he don't have hair there anywhere. Anyway, I mean he's he, he's trying to fertilize it. So why you mentioned to me Zakir Naik? Who is Zakir Naik? He's an idiot of the village. This is the last name you should mention to me. Only if you are a Muslim, you call me, guys. If you are not a Muslim, don't call me. I will block you. Only if you are a Muslim, please. Especially if I say only Muslims, don't call me. Who is this one trying to call? Confirm to me first. You are a Muslim, otherwise I will block you. Don't call me. Unless you are a Muslim. Any Abdul? You are calling Robin? 
which your name what which one is your name there's one his name is Tony and there's one his name is B which one is you you are B which one I have all two colors which one is you Give me your name, Abdul. You play game? I know I don't play games. I have only two cars. Let me call this guy. <coughs> oh. Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? How are you? I'm fine. Are you the guy who is named uh, Robin in the text? No. Oh, okay. Are you a Muslim? No. Okay. Why well, you are calling me? You are live on air. How can I help you? They told me to call. Okay. Here we go. I mean, they told me to call. <laughs> Don't call me, buddy. Somebody told you this is customer service. So, Robin, you are not calling. Here we go. The guy who called me, I called him back. This is not you. Why you don't call it? Abdul? Hmm? <coughs> who is a Muslim, smart Muslim, would like to call us? I'm so glad that your God Allah he described to us what is inside the vagina in the heaven I was worried I was worried maybe we'll find a phone charger inside a missing headphone lipstick makeup but thanks to Allah Allah described to us what is inside the vagina of those women in heaven this is your God do you see it, Muslims? This is God talking? Hello? Yeah, remote control. You never know what you find inside there. <laughs> and guys, those women, they are like pearls. In the beauty, they are like rubies and coral. If, 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 if. What? Well, hold on. They are a beauty like coral or their vagina. If there's any Muslim here want to explain to us? What is what is the one look like a coral and ruby? Is that the vagina or the women? Hello? Yeah, obviously, this is God talking. Anyone from Japan? Please don't mention Japan to me. The Muslims, they said that there is a there is a scientist, his name Yama Aidu Lai Yama from Japan, and his cousin, his name Yama, I fabricate Yama Toyota. They say that the Quran is the book of God. Tell us about the corrupt Bible. Why you don't call me, Mr. Abu Albus? Guys, Albus is the man. He is going to call me and let us talk about the corrupt Bible. I don't mind. You want to talk about the corrupt Bible? This Abdul, he gave us a proof that the Quran is a false book. Why? Because he just said that the Bible of Allah is corrupt. Because who is the Bible? It came from, according to Islam, the Bible is sent by Allah. So if you are just saying that the, this is the corrupt Bible, it's mean you are talking about the Bible of Allah is corrupt. Thank you very much. What kind of God you have, the one he cannot protect his book? Huh? I feel sorry for your God. Your God Allah, He sent 124,000 messenger, 
and each time he send the messenger we kick his ass and we change his book according to you this is what you just said to me Christians are making money by changing the Bible how would that we can do I don't know what how we can I explain to me how we can make money by changing the Bible how that can be brother this is a genius Christians they make money by changing the Bible <laughs> as if the Christians are one person and he will make money I mean what does that mean and how you can change the Bible we have the original one we have the the, 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 the original language all we have a translation we don't have a changed book you are a liar it is you who as man he burned all the Quran why you burn the Quran because they are different and who is the one who decide to burn or what to, what not to burn uh, who care the book in the front of us today according to Muslims this is the book of Uthman but by the way even this one you don't have it and not only that I can prove to you that your Quran is corrupted by Allah himself I will give you a story look at this aren't you Muslim you say that Allah is in charge of everything guys don't the Muslim they say Allah is in charge of everything Okay, and he is the one who write the destiny. Okay, the destiny of the Quran here, as we see, is written by Allah that God will eat it. Explain to us, Mr. Quran and protected. How Allah is that God sent by Allah or this God sent by the Jews? Read with me, Allah. The verse of stoning and the breast feed for adult. By the way, this breast for them for adult is made only specifically for a Christian prince because Allah He knew that I am single and I'm going to be so hungry one day. And then I'm going to marry 72 women. And then we right away we go to the bedroom. I do nothing. We don't have sex. We do breastfeeding. Mm. Have you ever heard of a cult? The God he ordered his followers to suck the nipples of a strange women except Islam. Have you ever heard? Even pigs don't do that. We are very conservative. You cannot shake hands of our, of our women, but you can suck their boobs. Amazing. Okay, I don't want to shake the hands of your wife. Let us see the boobs. Actually, I was going to open a drive through in Las Vegas for breastfeeding for adult. Because I think this will be very successful business there, but too bad we don't have money to hire some hookers. This is God. Commercial drive through breastfeeding suckling for men is the best in the world. Actually, it's the first. It is halal. Imagine we put underneath of the nipples a sticker that says halal. And you are telling me about corrupt Bible, you idiot. And you can imagine people coming to visit the halal breastfeeding drive through from around the earth. And this is supposedly the word of Allah. And what happened to the breastfeeding for adult and stoning to death? Hold on. Allah, he sent a goat, hungry goat. Read with me carefully. The verse of a stoning and, the, and the, of a breastfeeding for adult 10 times. You cannot just only do it once. Allah will not accept that. You have to suck the nipples of the women in 10 times until you are satisfied, which means it's not like 10 times in 10 minutes. No, no, no. In 10 different days. And each time you do it, you keep suckling, suckling, suckling. There's no milk, by the way. You are just, you know, play. Until you cannot do it no more. And then you stop. Then you come the second day or the day after. You have to do it 10 different times in 10 different days. And that in order to get in to see a woman, she is not halal for you. That is high-tech religion. Are you kidding me? This is the most open-minded religion. Mm. 
Hello? Let us continue. Let's continue in the story because the story is getting more interesting. So the verse of st stoning to death and breastfeeding for adult ten times was revealed. Alhamdulillah, was revealed. And the paper was under with me under my pillow. Who is talking Aisha? And remember, Muhammad, he sleep in her bed. This is the husband. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death. And a tam sheep came and ate it. Meh, meh. Your God could not stop the goat from eating the Quran. This is God. You attack the Christians day and night. You claim that the Quran is protected. And then we find what? That the goat ate your Quran. And right now, by the way, this goat is wanted. If you go to the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, you will see this image. And there is a big prize for this goat. If you find this goat, it is wanted dead or alive. And it's better if we bring it alive so the, 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 the FBI of Saudi Arabia they can investigate to find out who is the one behind this. This goat, she is a W7 agent, James Bond, or who? Was she sent by the British intelligence or maybe by the CIA? Or maybe by the Mossad. A goat ate the Quran. Why? Where was your God? He was watching the football game. And yet you are attacking the Christian and you are saying to them, your book is corrupt. Nice to meet you. I'm not talking about you, the guy, the Muslim guy. I'm talking about the goat. Actually, I'm very upset from this goat. I wish she did not. I mean, why from the whole Quran she ate the chapter of a breastfeed for adult? I believe that the real one who ate it is not the goat, it's the Muslims because they are ashamed of it. Don't forget to make a print of this goat picture and post it around so maybe we can find it and you can get the reward. It's a big reward from Allah. Allah will increase the size of your private part and will give you extra versions if you find this goat. Do we have any Abdul? Any angry Abdul from Christian Prince? Can you stop talking? Can you stop the goat from eating the Quran, Robin? I mean, you are upset from me talking, but you are not upset that Allah could not stop the goat from eating the Quran? I mean, hold on. How even this goat was able to do it? Because remember, Muhammad is sleeping in the bed. He's dead. That means the goat, she jumped in the top of the bed, which means in the top of Muhammad. And then she bited him from his pant, and she flipped him from the bed, and then she, because how she can get to the pillow? As you see, the papers is under the pillow. And his, the head of Muhammad is in the pillow. My friend, your prophet was violated by, by, by a goat. The guy is dead and now we have a goat in the top of him. Only Allah knows what she did. You know those animals, they are animals. And as I heard, the prophet, he smells so good. And she is a female goat. Brother, do you think that this goat is sent by Allah, brother? Isn't Allah in control of everything?
Isn't it Allah is in control of everything? Was this goat out of his control? Look, there's somebody saying, I cannot stop crying. Here we go. He will have heart attack and his family will sue me. Stop. Just leave, man. Once I received a message, this is many years ago from a woman. She said to you, she said to me, because of you, we are going to get divorced. I said, who are you? And what do you mean me divorce? What? What are you talking about? Said my husband, he come to you and he stay in your chat for 10 hours. And we fight because of you. And because of you, we are going to get divorced. And I'm using now his account to talk to you. So when he texted me later, he said, listen, your wife, she spoke to me. And after today, you don't stay here for more than two hours maximum. After that, I will bounce you. He said, don't worry about her. I said, no, 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 no. You see, just two hours. Two hours. And honestly, I put like a, a timer. Two hours is gone. I bounce him. It was a chat room, so I can control it. Not like here. He cannot watch no more. Anyway, we have a problem here with the goat. <clears throat> By the way, personally, I have nothing against goats. I think goats are nice. Hello? Hello? So, look at them. They are so angry from me in the chat, but nobody can come and call me. My Skype is open. Have you ever heard of a Muslim making a challenge like this to call me? They don't dare. All those who have a big name, they claim to have knowledge, etc. Potato, tomato. They have no knowledge. This is why they schedule all of them. They want to debate you about the Trinity. Why? Because they think if we do not debate about Trinity, we can throw rocks. They will. Not, we will not give them a chance to throw rocks. All of them, they want to know the topic two months in advance. Why? Because they have no knowledge. They are afraid of unexpected question. Here we go. I'm here. Call me. Either me or Allah or the goat will answer you. Now, if this goat, she ate the two chapters, one of them about the breast feeding for adult 10 times. Guys, do you get a conclusion from this? There's, I think there's a miracle behind this. And I will explain to you the miracle because most of you are not very fast in intelligence. We are Arab. We are the best. The verse of historian and the breastfeeding ten, ten time for adult. Do you notice that goats they give us milk? And I think this goat she felt that she is in competition with those women and men. They are not to go in to drink her milk no more. So she got jealous and she decided to do something against the Quran. Allah is making this goat feel insecure put yourself in the shoe of this goat man and now you have a lot of milk you have seven nipples and nobody want to suck it no more what you will do hmm? the men now they are going to suckle all the muslim women one by one ten times and the poor goat is like, okay, you forgot about me now? Now I'm not important? Now you forgot my cheese? Now you forgot my pepper? Now you forgot my milk? No, she's sad. You know, she was trying, to, I think she was thinking to commit suicide. Because this is a suicide mission. What if, what if the Mujahideen of ISIS, they found the goat eating the Quran in the top of the Prophet, they will slaughter her. Look how brave she is. What a crazy goat. My brothers, if you like to be a warrior in Islam, you have to have the spirit of this goat. You enter the bedroom of the prophet and you don't care what will happen next. Who, who this guy is calling me? His name is Tony. Tony. Who is this Tony? I want to know why this guy he's keep calling me. Let us see. <laughs> Hello.
Hello? Yes. Yeah, I have a question about your breastfeeding verse. Okay, so you are not a Muslim? No, uh, I am. You are a Muslim? Yeah. You are a Muslim? Yes. Okay, what is the question? Um, You were saying that, I, that Aisha um, had her sister do breastfeeding? Yes. Is that Yes. Because her, <laughs> her breasts weren't developed yet? Well, uh, I don't know about her breasts, if they are developed or not, because we don't know exactly. I think they, at that time her breast was really big, not small, because now I think this is what's happening uh, after she passed the age of uh, uh, 15, 16. So mostly she have a breast at that time. But the problem is because she is the wife of the prophet, so she will not allow or it's not uh, proper yet for her to do so. So she hired her sisters and the niece of her sisters to do so. Okay. Yeah. Now, what about when you go to um, paradise? Doesn't, doesn't Allah promise uh, endless breast? No, the, the Quran did not talk about uh, the, the Quran talk about uh, uh, like nice breasts, like a big size, uh, fat ones, you know. Okay. Uh, but it doesn't talk about uh, endless, you know. Uh, okay. But uh, uh, we can go to the Quran and we find this. Uh, the Quran says here, Allah described this, the, the, the size of the breast in the Quran, as you see here. Do you see it in the, in the screen? Chapter 78, yes. verse number 33. So the Quran described the size and how nice the, the breast. And I'm very grateful for Allah that he will provide us with such a breast. I mean, imagine you go there and the breast, uh, the, you know, she needs to go and make a surgery. Okay, well, thank you. You're welcome. You, you still want to be a Muslim, my friend, after all of this? Hello? Uh, he's a Muslim. I, it's very important, by the way, that the women in heaven, their, their breast is like boing, boing, boing. I mean, imagine you like go there and she have a flat tire. I mean, come on. No way Allah will allow that. So Allah, he decided to describe to us what is inside the vagina, the size of the, how they look like of the breast, but he did not say in this breast. But, you know, in the hadith, it says that it's going to be in this vagina, and the, sorry, in this penis and vagina fit for that, which make it in this too. I don't want to draw a picture here because that will make it disgusting, but, uh, you know, you can use your imagination. Any Abdul? What if a person who don't like those breasts big? What if he like them small? Do you think Allah will shrink them? Uh, me, myself, actually, I don't like women to have big breasts. What if she hit me with it? I don't want to lose my teeth. And not only that, if we go in the swimming pool and me and my wife want to dive, how she can dive and she have two big balloons? It's impossible. I mean, come on, we have to be uh, realistic here. <laughs> <laughs> actually if they have big balloon as you see i think it's helpful if we have like if we if we are in a storm in the ocean your wife she will not be drowned and you can hold on her because the big balloons you know they will never go and they are not like full of uh, air they are full of silicon made by allah so for sure they will never drown boing boing i mean that's uh, beautiful Any Abdul? Too much information. My friend, this is not too much information. I'm just trying to show. You see, okay. Since I was a kid, when I read something, I say to myself, why people don't see what I see? So 
I always try to make it as a comedy to show you how stupid it is because you're what you know I notice that people don't notice how stupid it is unless you show it to them so the purpose is not really to be a comedian the purpose is teaching is to show you how silly how stupid this it is okay somebody's saying to me stop focusing in the breast okay I will stop focusing in the breast here we go let us focus in the clitoris are you happy now have you ever heard of a prophet of God of a companion of God he said to somebody go and suck the clitoris like hello hello Okay, let's change the topic. <laughs> Guys, don't expect a topic to be uh, more than this is Islam, my friend. We are not talking about something holy. This is garbage. I what I you, you don't like it, leave. Take the goat and hike. All right. <clears throat> this is the this is the garbage of Islam. What I can do for you, make it better. You see, there's one thing I promised myself is to speak as things as it is. I am not politically correct. I know sometimes a Christian they say to me, You are as a Christian, you should not speak in such a way. I said, Why? Why I should not? This is how it is. We should we should tell the truth as it is. Why why I want to sugarcoat the devil book? This is what it is. When you are not telling things as it is you are protecting the devil actually let people know the truth they don't speak arabic <clears throat> anyway uh garbage in garbage out <clears throat> do we have any abdul I am always a natural person. I never been fake. I am always myself. And I cannot be something different. I cannot wear a tie. If I wear a jacket, like a suit, I feel like I am in jail, like somebody put cuffs on me. I don't wear them. I don't dress because people like me to dress something. I don't say things because people like to hear me saying something. I say what I like to say, I dress what I like to dress, I eat what I like to eat. God created me free. And he gave me the freedom. And my freedom is not about being filthy, it's about sharing the truth. I need a wife. What, only one wife? I mean, come on. Why you are not generous like the prophet? 70 wives, 72 wives, 80, 100, 300 wives. I mean, <clears throat> guys, why? how in the world a guy, he have little brain, he will accept to have many wives? One woman will drive you crazy. What about having 70 or 80 or 1,000? Okay, four wives and four mother-in-law. Have fun. For mother-in-law, for mother-in-law, for mother-in-law, you go crazy, oh, you. Unbelievable. Four. Four wives, four mother-in-law. Each one of them, she will give you a kid every nine months. Nice to meet you. I think your life will be very, very nice. Do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Did you remember what happened to Muhammad because of he have many wives? Do you remember? We just mentioned the, the verse where he have a fight with his wife in the chapter of 66. And Allah, he made a threat that if you don't repent, Allah will send his army. Allah and Jibreel and the angels will come and support the Prophet. Do you want this to happen to you? 
you have a fight with two women they are five foot four tall yet you cannot control them and you cannot do anything to them and then what do you do you need Allah and Jibreel and all the angels in the world and all the believers ISIS Al-Qaeda Saddam Hussein uh, uh, Saudi Arabia Erdogan Amar Rabbi Aman all of those they will come to support you against two women two women they did this to Muhammad but he have 13 not crazy I will never have those women and the funny the hadith says that the prophet he used to sleep with them all in less than 20 minutes what the heck how he can do that how he can do that Let us see where we can find the hadith. Me, even if you're the rabbit, he cannot do it. All those thirteen women in fifteen minutes, twenty minutes. Let us find the hadith. So the Muslims. You know, they will say you are lying. Ah, I cannot find it in English. Now, hold on. Let us see this one. Because there's many hadith about how, he, if you have my book, Six and Allah, you will see what I'm talking about. Ah, I cannot find it in English. Even he used to go and have sex with all his wives without even washing. Imagine. This guy, he jumped from a woman to a woman without washing. I don't know if that... Why you cannot find any of those in English? What? I mean, that cannot be true. Let us see. Hold on. Let us see. Let us try this one. You see, the problem is I can find tons of reference in Arabic, but we need to find something in English so you can read it. There we go. We find finally something in English. This is Sahih al Bukhari. Anas ibn Malik said the Prophet used to visit all his wives in a round during the day and night, and they were 11 in number. Uh, but here the story is not really accurate because here they are saying visit he was having sex with them and the proof of that read carefully and we said we used to say the prophet was given the strength of 30 men why they are talking about the strength of 30 men because they are talking about sex So do we have any Muslim? Final call. Any Abdul? Yeah, here is 30. Different hadith it says 40. I think Muhammad he was getting more power and more energy. Uh, he installed one more battery later. 
you remember the hadith right when Muhammad he says I was the most most weak person between all mankind and then I invoked Allah and he sent me a dish of shish kebab and I got I ate it and I got the power of 40 men and actually this is true in the Middle East as an example I have a friend he invoked Allah he sent him not a dish of shish kebab he sent him a dish of hummus he ate the hummus he got the power of 40 but not in sex in sleeping This is a miracle. I don't know if those miracles are happening to you, Muslims, too. Have you ever heard that there is a prophet, he invoked Allah because he was the most weak person in, in sex and earth? And then Allah, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. I thought Allah, if he want to fix something, he say, B is going to be. Why Allah need to go to his kitchen and cook shish kebab to Muhammad? al kufait it's called in Arabic al kufait so he cooked it for him and he gave him the power of 40 men. Any Abdul? Yeah, the first one who created the Viagara is Allah, according to the stories. Makes sense. I don't know how many of you feel like converting to Islam today, especially about uh, after we spoke about the breastfeeding women uh, things. I mean, come on. If you want to read really crazy stuff about about the uh, the sexuality in Islam, uh, you can get my books, uh, Sex and Allah. This is a new book of mine. Uh, you will you will see tons of reference uh, things you never heard before because you know there and by the way I did not mention in sex and Allah book everything about sexuality I mentioned what is enough to prove my point you know what I mean otherwise the book will be endless the same as the endless penis Allah he promised to the Muslims so uh, uh, the book is is contain a lot of reference but the purpose of those reference is to prove a point Otherwise, we can give more and more crazy stuff. But this is not what the book is made for. Um, people, they ask me, why you call this book Six and Allah? What I, what I should call it? Six and uh, Obama? I mean, Allah is the one who came with this promises of sex. So this is his sex. They said to me, this is like straightforward name. I mean, it's just like, I said, this is what it is. Why do you want to call it something else? Why do you want to call it uh, sexuality? Okay, sexuality. No, it is, the, it is what Allah made of this people by his promises. Because marriage is what Islam is talking about, supposedly, and then sex in heaven. And what is sex in heaven? And what is marriage in earth for Muslims? Uh, you know, it's, everything is about sex. There's no marriage. Do we have any Abdul? All right, look like we are done for today. Uh, don't forget, I, I don't know if YouTube, they put back the video of uh, the most dangerous animals. The Muslims, they try to take it down, but we will, we will have it back soon. Uh, but anyway, if you don't watch it there, it's exists in different channels, all right? So you can watch it in different channels and you can have it back. I mean, you can watch it. It's very important to watch those videos and to download them because those videos can make anyone... There's no way a human being will see those videos and he will stay as a Muslim. No way. I mean, you have to be really in drugs. So this is why it's important to, to download those videos because they always will try to fight them. Put them in Google Drive, G Drive, you know, not only you post them in YouTube, like back them up. Uh, time will come and Christian Prince will go, will not be here no more. Hello? I like Christian Prince, how are you? Yes, my friend, I'm fine. It's uh, your Christian brother from Australia, the one that calls you all the time. All right, my friend, good to have you. I, good to uh, hear your voice again. Uh, sorry to bother you, I know you said I think it's 
time to finish up. Yeah. I just needed uh, your help uh, to give me a uh, reference because I have two different types of Muslims at work. One is Sunni, one is Shia. Mm. The Shia one obviously refuses any story I bring forward. And uh, the, mo the ones I'm mostly um, familiar with is Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih al-Muslim. Um, yeah. mm. so, um, and every time I bring something forward, he says, that's, that's false. And he starts talking about Aisha and killed the Ali's son and all these things. I'm like, it's got nothing to do with what we're talking about. Mm. Okay, my friend, uh, just for you, the coming time I do broadcast live is going to be only about the Shia. Are you happy? That would be excellent. When would that be? Next, uh, next, uh, next time, I, I, I will wait for Jabril to inspire me, and then we will do it. <laughs> All right. All right. No All right. Okay, my friend. Take care. God bless. Thank you, and God All bless you. Right. Bye. Yeah, so next time, as long as this is what he is looking for, next time we go live, we will arm you with a lot of reference about the Shia. And actually, in my book, Six in Allah, we have tons of reference about the Shia too, because I mention both, not only Sunni, you know. Uh, so uh, when we go, maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, why not? I mean, let us see. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, join our page. Uh, uh, be sure your notification is on. You can subscribe to my page in battery on uh, because I send the uh, notification when I go live. And you can subscribe in Instagram, uh, Arabian Prophet, and in Facebook. And don't forget minds.com, minds, which is appear in down in the screen here. Let us show it. Let us put it for you. You see it there. It says minds.com christian prince and there is instagram arabian prophet subscribe to those so always you will be notified whatever program is good for you and uh, you will be always updated always when i go live on air i post in those at least those three places all right so the coming tomorrow i tomorrow we are already in tomorrow see jabril has missed me up and i think the goat uh today if I go live on air again, we promise our brother here from Australia. Uh, by the way, I'm very good in geography. I learned geography from Allah. According to Allah, that the two seas, they met together, and they don't meet together, sorry, and those two seas is the Mediterranean and the Persian Gulf. <laughs> this is a different story. We can talk about it later. So I'm good in geography, and I know where is Australia. Australia is very far. I think it's next to Brazil, right? The Muslim will record me now and say, look what the Christian prince is talking about. He do not know where Israel is. My friend, your God, Allah, do not know even where is the sun is. He's, he think it's, it's set in, a, in the murky water. Hello? <laughs> record me, record me. So anyway, uh, the second time we go live on air, we will speak about the Shia, and we will show you how stupid the cult of the Shia. The Shia, they have a lot of garbage, more than Muslim Sunni, actually. But because Sunni is the majority, so we focus usually in the Sunni. But the Shia are no better, you know. Actually, you will lose your mind tomorrow if we go live on air, we speak about it. So, subscribe, get ready. The next show, uh, show, this is not a show. This is a horrible show. <laughs> Okay, show me. I now I know what is the word. Show me. Show me. Silence me. Answer me. Uh -huh, okay. So the next show me is going to be. I hope today, maybe in ten hours, fifteen hours from now. So just subscribe and be sure you join us when we go live on air. And until then, my friends, my brothers and sisters, I say thank you for those who uh, support us with the donation. I appreciate you very much. And don't forget to, to to help our brother Sam Shamoon. He's a very wonderful person. And support all those who they are the warriors for Christ. They deserve your help and they deserve your respect. And, you know, uh, uh, they are your voice and they are fighting for the truth and the truth will set us free. So support them. Whatever you see a Christian posting videos, subscribe, support this person. You know, even if he's a child, even if he's 10 years old, you know, let us be a family of Christ. I was so happy once when I saw a child, he's not even 10 years old, he was debating a Muslim in the in the in the comment in the in YouTube, and I noticed that his words is funny. 
and he said to the Muslims he, uh, the Muslim he said to him your God is a man the Christian kid he said to him your God is Allah, Allah is a leg so I click at his page to see this guy there's an image of it you know he's a kid he have a video of him uh, you know doing like uh, things in the keyboard he's a kid he's just a child but I was so happy that we are able to teach a child how to refute Muslims they attack you about your God is a man but their God is a physical being and he have a shin he have five fingers he have a nose and a toes yet they don't accept God who became a man not man became God thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon. Bye-bye.